Yo, what's up, guys? Today is a big day. Eight hours of MLS offers live. You guys will literally get to see start to finish process, how to make MLS offers, and this is going to be an eight-hour live stream. So drop your questions in the chat. It's going to be a long one. Pop them in the chat as we go. I'm going to answer your questions throughout the day while doing my work. You're pretty much going to get to shadow me all day long and see how I go about um, making offers and making money off of MLS offers. Like this is, it's super cool. It's a, a free lead source and you can make good money off of it and you can build good relationships with agents. So let's get right into it. My goal today, <clears throat> it's a really, really big goal. Would you like to know what it is? Good morning, Reggie. Good morning, Reggie. Thank you for being here. Reggie, I have a really big goal today. Do you want to know what it is? <coughs> really, really big goal. You know how many offers I'm going to get out today? This is my goal. Yesterday, I only got out 16 offers. <coughs> I was a little bit disappointed that I only got out 16 offers. But I have 13 in underwriting currently. And I believe that if I really put my mind to it, I can potentially get out 30 offers. That's my big goal. 30 offers. Let me write this on my desk. Let me make it nice and big and clear. I know it sounds pretty crazy, but I think it's possible <clears throat> because I have 13 in underwriting currently, which means that I just need those ones plus an additional 20, and then I'll be able to hit the 30 mark. So pretty, pretty, pretty big goal. Good morning, John. Good morning, bro. Thank you for the advice you gave me on the, uh, on the bot yesterday, all of those tips that helped, a, that helped a ton. Okay. So we're going to get right into it. Let's start dialing. So we're going to start with Mike Larmbo. So guys, 30 offers today is what we're going for. We're going to pull it up on Privy. Or sorry, we're going to pull it up on um, Zillow. Anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater? Nope. Okay, we will give him a call. Oh, crap. It's that Mike. Oh. I'm just going to abandon this mic. This mic is kind of difficult. Abandon. He is sick, apparently. And never picks up. Okay, we will skip that mic. All right, next one. Okay, anything about the age of the roof, AC water heater? Nope. All right, we will give them a call. Y'all want some uh, some StreamYard music? I know you guys like the uh, StreamYard music. It's pretty cool. Get it going into space. Malcolm, I'm live, bro. Hey, bro, I'm just on a live stream right now. I'm sorry, what are you saying? I'm just on a live stream right now. What's up? Uh, I didn't know you're on a live stream. My bad, bro. Uh, okay. Whatever. Um, just hit me when I uh, just check your messages whenever uh, you get a chance, bro. What? Um, is it something that I can answer quickly? Um, it's just, I was, it's just basically asking, um, what's the best way, cause I had sent a few messages, so I was just like, what's the best way to, um, set up the app AI bot? Like if you needed to edit something, do you just do that in the custom values part of, um, go high level? Yeah. So there's hard code and there's soft code. The hard code is in Zapier and the soft code is in the custom values. Um, so to make it more user friendly, most of the things that you edit are the custom values. But if you wanted to like edit some of like the structure of the bot, um, then you can go into the hard code in Zapier. Gotcha. Okay. 
And what's the, would it be easier to reach out to go go high level support or is that your support? Or um, like either go high level is twenty four seven customer support. That's that's going to be much more reliable, much more easier. Just because like I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not a CRM company, so I just give it away for free. So it's kind of hard for me to handle support calls. Gotcha. All right, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. My pleasure, bro. Enjoy. Cool. Okay. All right, let me call this guy, Marsh. Hello? Yes, this is Marsh. Hey, Marsh. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Beach Drive. Yes, okay. I'm interested in right. it. I, I, uh, I wanted to confirm some of the big ticket items before I write up my offer. Do you have the age of the roof, AC, and are there any major issues I should budget for? Uh, I No, the house is in great shape. Um, I'd have to look at my file. I mean, there's nothing on the roof and stuff. Um, it's all. I think it's all pretty new. Uh, AC is actually there's a bunch of mini splits. They they decided they took out the central and it's all mini splits. Wow, interesting. Okay, and no, you haven't you haven't seen the house, so have you? I haven't been inside of it yet. I want to make sure that it's realistic before I. I spend any time. Yeah, I mean, if if you're gonna send me something low, don't bother. What's low? You tell me what you what are you thinking about offering? I haven't ran my numbers yet. I just wanted to confirm the details before I do. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's a nice house. Okay. There's really nothing. There's really nothing to do on the house. Um, why? Can't uh, exactly to the roof, but it's a, it's a nice house. Why? Help, help me understand this. So it looks like it's been on market for a decent amount of time now. Not many people are viewing it. Not many people are saving it. What do you think's going on? Uh, the market's not very good. You don't think it's overpriced? Not really. Not really? I think that's a, that's a simple thing. I've had multiple. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of houses out there, the same situation. Okay. Okay. Um, it, yeah. Roughly, how old is the roof? I just want to understand if like it's something that I got a budget for. Uh, hey, Marsh, you there? Marsh? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Pulling it up. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. He um so the roof is uh is a two thousand and four, but he put some he did some additional work to it. He put some sort he put a uh I can't remember what what he called it, but he had some additional work done and I, I the, the four point was fine. They gave it um like another five years of life. Okay. So if I remember correctly. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to figure budget that in the next, you know, couple of years, anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, will do. Um, what what email should I send my offer to? Uh, Marsh at marshgilby dot com. Marsh at, at marsh dot com. dot com. Okay, cool. I'll uh. I'll run my numbers and I'll email you what what I can offer for it. I'll send you a text afterwards to uh, let you know that I sent that to you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks, Marsh. Have a great day. Bye. Okay. Cool. That is one 
MLS listing called one agent conversation. Boom, just like that. On to the next. Okay, I'm going to put my phone on. Do not disturb. There we go. All right. So, Age of the Roof AC water heater. One thing that I can do is I can use a hack and search up roof. Nope, nothing. I can search up AC. Nope, nothing. All right. Let me give them a call. Let me give them a call. Yeah, bro. I agree. Agents are a little off next week. Hello, this is Scott. Hey, Scott. My name is Nathan. How are you? Good. How are you, Nathan? I'm doing pretty good, too. Um, hey, I'm calling about your listing on Mississippi Ave. Yeah. I was about to run my numbers, but I, I realized there's... Uh, I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see the private remarks. In the public remarks, I didn't see anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. I just wanted to confirm um, the age of those. AC is newer. I want to say, like, I think he said two years. Uh, roof is, I want to say 10, or it's either 10 or 14 on that one. I apologize. I've got, like, 12 actives right now. So they, sometimes they blend together. Um but it's it it's it's probably fourteen, I think. Okay. Okay. Are but there any? I can major, verify that and let you know. Are there any major issues with this property that I should budget for? Uh, flooring. Flooring is you know the most obvious one when you walk in. Uh, -huh. uh that main you know run from the front door to the kitchen is pretty tore up. Gotcha. But. That's why we have a price the way it is. You know, we, we looked at a couple pre-market offers on it. Um, they were close to where we wanted to be, but not quite there. And so we decided to put it on market. Um, you know, the neighbor's house, um, same size. Uh, just They just did a full remodel and they've got it at four or sold it for 400. So, um, you know, I... My pre-market guys that looked at it was estimating probably 50 grand in, you know, total rehab. So, okay. Give you kind of an idea there of where you would be at, I think. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll run my numbers and I'll let you know what I can pay for it. What email should I send okay. my offer to? Uh, Scott Snyder at markspain.com. Scott Snyder at Mark. How do you Mark spell Spain. that? Like Spain? Yep. Just like the country. S P A I N. Yep. Dot com. Okay. Scott Snyder at markspain.com. All right, we'll do. I'll send it to you and then I'll send you a text afterwards to let you know um, that I sent it. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Take care. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, we will put that in underwriting. We will update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing call, another agent conversation. Wow, look at that, two for two. Verdon says, oh no, I haven't I haven't checked out your ATP yet, Verdon. I've been so busy. Um, I literally work till bedtime. Let me zoom in. There we go. Um, so Verdon says, I'm able to get my bots without A2P, meaning I'm trying to make sure everything is ready to go by the time A2P gets back. Um, yes, pretty much what you do is you'd fire it um, and then you just pretend like you received the message and text your system back. Um, so like it would be unsuccessful uh, deliverability of the message from go high level to your phone. Um, but you just pretend like you received it and text it back just to be able to make sure that the functionality, the bots are working properly. Um, and then, yeah, once your ATP gets approved and the messages will actually get delivered. Uh, Pamela says, how do you get access to the MLS again? Um, I don't have MLS access, but I use Privy. 
um, and previous how I find all my deals. It's pretty awesome. I actually have a promo code for it. Um, if you use the promo code Nathan Harris, you'll get 30% off. Okay, next one. Anything about the age of the roof, AC water here? Yep. Roof, HVAC, good, good. Let me give them a call. Verdon says the little test button wouldn't go through. I know exactly what that is. Uh, you have to enroll yourself on the bot and then uh, text your bot back and forth. So your bot will text you and then you need to text your bot back. But because your A2P is not approved, the, when the bot sends you a text, it's not going to go through. So you're just going to have to take your CRM number and text your bot as if the text went through. Um, and then you're going to have some data inside of your catch hook in Zapier to be able to continue setting up the bot. Let me know if that makes sense. Um, so pretty much enroll yourself on your bot. Your bot will attempt to text you, but it will not be delivered. You're going to actually text your bot pretending like you got the text. And then you're going to refresh the catch hook inside of Zapier. Um, and that will have your data populate. Awesome. Scott, man, I hope you. Hey, Scott. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing you have on 28th Ave. Uh huh. Hey, so first of all, bro, um, thank you for being so thorough in the description. I, I don't really have any questions for you. Um, I just need your email because I'm not an agent. I, I don't get to see it. I'm I'm gonna submit an offer on this one. Uh, well, I'm doing an open house Saturday. If you want to come look at it. Well, let's make sure that we're in the same price range before I, I go walk in it. What's that? Let's let's make sure that we're in the same price range before I go walk in it. Okay. What were your thoughts? Um, I'm about to run my numbers. I just wanted to make sure that you know you you actually answer your phone before. <laughs> There's so many agents that I would run my numbers on, and then I could just never get a hold of them to submit my offer. So I just wanted to get a hold of you, get your email, and then I'll email you my offer. Yeah, are you um are you working are you an investment i am an investor i mean if you want to invest in me then i'm investor. technically an investment yeah i'm sorry i was sleeping i late last night i had surgery the other day so oh shit. Why yeah. did you, what, um, what did you have surgery on it's all right um so um i think i've been getting a lot of um you know, a lot of offers by investors and they're just not even close. This house doesn't need any, you know, it's in poor condition. They just had a roof put on. Um, they, the uh, driveway was just re -poured. Um, You know, it, it's been updated. You know, there's not, nothing for a flipper to, to do with this house. So, you know, a lot of agents come in and saying, oh, you know, no, uh, you know, I'm not going to do any, uh, you know, they don't have to do any repairs or anything like this, but there's nothing that needs to be done. The house is ready to be moved into. So if you're looking for something that you plan on lowballing, it's not going to work. I plan on paying as much as I can. Um, you know, I don't know what, what's, what's a lowball. What kind of offers are you getting in? Well, uh, like I had one yesterday for 500. Um, but 
the, wow, uh, that's a really good bigger. offer. Why didn't you guys take it? Because they they it, it was it wasn't uh, they wanted to uh, give a percentage of, of what they estimated it at and um, of the the appraisal, and then when they sold it, then, then they get paid, and it was you know the, the, they're doing all this crazy stuff. Um, the investors is out there. I'm confused. Um, so that I don't was, understand. They, they wanted to. They wanted to get. Sorry. How, how, that that's very confusing. I know it was very confusing. And I had I was going back and forth over the emails. And I'm like, I don't understand number six. That was number six mm-hmm. on one of the you know that they want to put in as the condition or what have you. Um, but anyways, I've already. Um, I thought that I actually I don't have it on there. It was in the uh, this is thing that I did, but the uh, you know the, the house right now is um, is on the real estate report. It ranges from five hundred and eighty-seven thousand six hundred ninety-three is the average, and then the low is. Um, Five hundred and forty-seven thousand, and the high is six hundred and twenty-seven, almost twenty-eight thousand. Uh, That's a pretty honest. big range. Yeah, but if you're going to do the, are, you said you're not a realtor. No. Yeah, so if you're going to do the the, the real estate when you do the comps in the area, that's what um, the range is, and I can send you um, a um, a picture of this of what uh, it automatically, you know, this is what comes up and then you actually there's another way that you can do your cmas out of your comps um you can go in and you know look at the area and what have you i'm seeing um, a lot so of uh, fully renovated properties going for the 565 mark like we have like one yeah. two three three at 565 uh and what well how many bedrooms do they have let's see here three two three two three two four three so yeah, we got we got one that's a four three, the other two are three twos. So yeah, this is a four three, and the rooms are huge. That's what I'd, you know I'd really like for you to see it. I mean, the rooms are you know, usually when you have a four bedroom house, you walk in and you t- touch the walls, you know, in it. And in this case, it's not like that at all. These look I these look got... really close to model matches. Okay, but anyways, yeah. anyways, I mean, I mean, you don't gotta sell me on it. I'm gonna run my numbers either way. Um, what email should I send my offer to? Um, it's S is in Scott, L is in love, F is in Frank, U as an umbrella, L is in love, G as in good, H is in Henry, U as in umbrella, M as in Mary at gmail.com. Okay. Got it. All right, I'll uh, I'll get to work. I'll send you a text after I write up my offer. All right, Nathan. Thanks, Scott. All right, thank you, Nathan. Ah, this agent is trying to polish a turd. No matter how much you polish a turd, a turd is still a turd. You can polish it. You can put sprinkles on it. You can put icing on it. It's still a turd. All right, let's update my KPIs. That's another one, three for three. Wait a minute. Didn't we, did we call a guy before that he didn't answer? No, he did answer. Um, Pamela says, can you please help me run my numbers and let me know what I can put in my offer for? Yes, absolutely. Um, See this email here on the screen? It's gonna come up in just a second. If you send your deals to that email, I will give you free underwriting. I will underwrite it for you for free. Um, so send them to deals at risingstarinvestment.com. Deals at risingstarinvestment.com. I'm gonna hit this refresh button. Get some nice new data. We got two in underwriting complete, 14 in underwriting. Oops, I accidentally wiped away my goal for the day. Let me write it again. Who 
today. E O D A Y I will make thirty. offers Awesome. Sweet. Okay, let's keep going. Let's pull this one up on Zillow. Okay, no things about the roof for the AC. Let me give him a call. Sorry, Mr. Call. This is Shoba with Coastal Property Group International and Forbes Global. Please text me for a quick response. Okay, we will double dial. Hello, this is Shoba. Hey, Shoba. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Keene Park Drive. Yes. I'm interested in it. I'd like to submit an offer. Um, I'm not an agent, by the way. I wanted to confirm the age of the roof and the AC. I didn't see that here in the public remarks. Okay. Um, could you text me your info? My phone's been ringing off the hook with that listing, honestly. I just was on the phone about it. Oh, um, if you could text me your info on your email, and I can send you all of the details on it about the AC roof and all of that. Right, um, I'm heading to an appointment now, but I'll be happy to do that. So you said it's for yourself and you, you're not an agent? Yes. I don't need anything too formal. I just need to know how old it is. I'm just, you know, about to run my numbers. Um, do you have the age of it on the top of your head? Like, um, I don't have it off the top of my head, honestly, because I've got a bunch of listings I'm working with right now. Okay, what I are... usually have all my notes on each one. And okay. I'll have to get into it and look at it, but I can message you back that. Sure, you just send me a text. I'll, I'll send you a text because, to be honest, if I send you an email, it's just going to get lost in there, and I'm probably not going to end up making mm -hmm. an offer. Um, but I'll yeah, no, I prefer a text. That's much quicker for me. Perfect, perfect. All right, well, thank you, Shoba. I'll send that to you now. And are you working with an agent or? No, I'm unrepresented. Okay. All right, go ahead and text me and I'll get it to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Sounds good. Thanks, Shoba. Take care. Yep. Okay. Hey, Shoba. It's Nathan Harris. Do you have the age of the roof and AC for property address.
So I think she's capping about her phone ringing off the hook. I think that's BS. And I'll tell you guys why in a second. Um, so you take a look at this, right? Um, 13 days on Zillow, 896 views, 68 saves. Eh, it's not like, it's not too wild. I think she's exaggerating um, on how much she's being called because this is not like dramatic numbers. But anyways, um, we sent her a text and we are going to put her in the waiting on info category and we will track our KPIs. That's another MLS listing called another agent conversation. We're at four for four. That's pretty good. Here, let me make this nice and big for you guys. Okay. All right, next one. Sandy Hartman. This is a big ass house. You want to see it? Check it out. Look how big this is. Smugus. Okay, new roof, new HVAC systems. Okay, all right, let's give them a call. All we really need is his email to send an offer to. Sandy Hartman Group, this is Yulia. How may I help you? Hey, Yulia. My name is Nathan. I'm about to submit an offer for 8224 Egret Wood Circles. Um, I just wanted mm -hmm. to know the email that I should send it to. I'm not represented. I'm not an agent either, so I don't get to see in the MLS. Uh, send the email to um, Lori. Oh, let me spell it to you. Lori is the it's agent for Sandy for that property. Okay, gotcha. Lori, L O R I. It's a L A U R I E. Okay. At Sandy's. Uh, S A N D Y S Office dot com. Okay, Lori at Sandy's Office dot com. Yep. Sounds good. And what I, I usually text afterwards just to confirm that they got it. Um, what number is Lori's number? Just a sec. That is seven two seven okay four three nine three four one four. Perfect. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.
Okay, we will then put it in the underwriting category. Cool, let's refresh, let's see what we're at now. Um, and that's another MLS listen call, another agent conversation. We're at five for five. Five for five on a Friday is pretty darn good. Okay, so we have 15 in underwriting, two in underwriting complete. Let's call the next one, Sophie. Um, whoops, copy, paste. Uh oh, something broke. Why? Okay. So anything about the age of the roof? Um, roof will be replaced or seller will give a credit at closing. We'll add that to the file. And then we'll, we'll, we will search up AC. Nope, nothing about the AC. Hi, this is Sophie Anastasia with Future Home Realty. Okay, no answer. This is Sophie Anastasia with Future Home Realty. Please leave your name in. Great, no answer. We will put her in the no response category. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the first no answer. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, we're at six MLS listings called the five agent conversations. Okay, next one. it up on Zillow. Okay, nothing about the age of the roof, AC water here. Let's call them.
Ooh, look at that. We got the age of the roof AC water heater from another one while we were waiting. Roof is July 2019. AC is May 2020. We'll add that to the deal card. Put it in underwriting. <clears throat> I'll say thanks. What email should I send my offer to? Dang, this is still loading. Let me pop out again. Here, I better stand up. Bro, my screen's way too big. Y'all are seeing too much. I'm supposed to have it smaller. Okay. So let's call. Hello, it's Marianne. Hey, Marianne. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing you have on 47. Yes. I just wanted to confirm. I was about to run my numbers, but I didn't see anything about the age of the roof or AC. Do you have that information? The age of the roof is approximately 14 years old. That's a problem because we don't know the exact age. Okay, so in 2019, she had a home inspection done, and that inspector said it was five years old. We just had a home inspector who lost our last buyer. They said it was 14 years old. So it's approximately 10 to 14 years old. But we don't have anything. She didn't put the roof on. There's no permit. There's no proof of how old the roof is. But it's an estimate from the last inspector said 2000 said it was a 14-year-old roof estimated. Okay. How about the AC? Is there central AC in this? Yes. And um, it's, hmm. Are you a realtor? No. Okay, yeah, I might have it in the MLS. I'm about to start a gym class right now. So um, if you could just text me, say age of AC, AC for four, because only because I'm about to start a Zumba class in like mm, four minutes. So I can't write on anything. Just put down um, age of AC for 47. Okay, and what email should I send my offer to? Oh, um, I can text it to you now. Sure, sounds good. Yeah, just age of AC and then the email and I'll get you my offer. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Marianne. Enjoy your Zumba. Bye-bye. Take care. All right. Okay, cool. So we're waiting on the age of the AC. So we're going to put this one into waiting on info. We're going to come back to it afterwards. Um, we're going to update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing call, another agent conversation. <clears throat> Okay, on to the next one. Um, roof replaced in 2021. Let's take down this information. Roof 2021. And then we have uh, water heater 2024. All right, let me call. Hey, 
exit realty. Hey, Gus. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about the listing you have on 62nd. Uh, this is Lewis. Who are you looking for? Oh, sorry. I thought I was calling Gus's phone number. Is that... No, you call the office. Call that other number. That's his. Um, let's see here. Which one? I don't... I mean... I don't know which one. Are you a realtor or are you a, a consumer? No, I'm, I guess I'm a consumer. Oh, okay. Got you. To put so, it. Yeah, you probably got it online. Sometimes they don't populate the cell phones. Hold on. Let me let me give you Gus a cell. Okay. Thank you. He'd be the only one that could tell you about that bad boy. All right. Just bear with me. 813. Yep. 7037. Sorry, 813. 416 416 7037 Yes sir. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right, good luck. Later. Bye. Take care. <clears throat> Hello. Hey Gus, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing you have on 60 <laughs> Oh, sorry. Bless me. Um, sorry about that. Hey, Gus, I'm, I'm no going to listen. You have on 60 second. Yes, sir. Hey, so I'm not an agent. I, uh, I don't get to see the private remarks or get your guys' emails. Mm -hmm. Um, I like how mm -hmm. you were, I got enough information to make my offer. Um, what email okay. did you send it to? Nathan. Yep. Uh, I was just, I lost you. I lost you. Oh, I was just asking what email I should send my offer to. It is Gus Volmer at Yahoo.com. G-U-S-V-O-L-L-M-E-R at Yahoo.com. Got it. Awesome. Is there anything else that you think I should know for this property uh, before I run my numbers? The property, the property has great bones. The roof is newer, 2021. Uh, new water heater. Plumbing is fine. Newer kitchen, older windows. It has older windows. Uh, that's the only drawback. It has older windows, but everything in the property is, I mean, four points wise, it's perfect. Okay. Gotcha. It's got good curb appeal. It's got a, uh, I mean, you know, I mean, it needs just a little bit of cosmetics. I would say, you know, just uh, maybe carpet. You know what I mean? The carpet's not old, but it's not like great either. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get work on it. Kitchen. I'll, uh, I'll send you a text afterwards, letting you know that I sent my offer. Thank you. So you're you're not an agent, you said? No. So you're an investor? Yes. Okay, got you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Gus. Take care. Talk soon. Thank you. Bye. -bye. <clears throat> do, 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 do. That's another MLS listing called and another agent conversation. We're at eight MLS listings called and seven agent conversations. We're doing pretty darn good for a Friday. We have 16 in underwriting, three in underwriting complete. Let me just let Alvin know that I'm going to go for 30 properties today. At Alvin. I'm gonna make 30 offers today. Smiley face. Can you keep up? Question mark. Not very cool. He's game. All right, next one.
Cool. All right. My underwriter is game. He's ready to go. I just hyped them up a little bit. I said to him, I said, if you can do 40 underwrites today, I'll give you a bonus. This one here, I don't know if I want to call this one. I don't think this one makes the cut, actually. Yeah, I'm going to skip it. Um, I'm going to say abandon. Abandon. Too nice. And Aaron Windows Wars. I have some details on this one already. I wonder if I've spoken with him before. Yeah, I called him yesterday. He didn't answer. Let me call him again. Double dial. Hello? Hey, Kieran. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Capote Grand Circle. Yep, K-Pac. K-Pac, gotcha. Hey, so you're pretty thorough in your description. Thanks for that. Um, I don't really need anything other than just your email to send my offer to. I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see that stuff. Yeah, it's uh, K-I-E-R-A-N-Q-U-I-N-N-1967 at gmail.com. Okay. So we got Kieran Quinn, 1967 at gmail.com. Yes, sir. Sweet. Sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll get it off to you shortly. Is there anything that I should know uh, to budget for with this property? Mm, no, I, uh, not really. Um, it's in great shape though. Uh, the, the windows are like hurricane windows, like big time upstairs, uh, and downstairs. The, it looks pretty good. It just needs to safe. lift. It just needs a what? It looks pretty good. It just definitely needs a facelift. It looks like it's all original. Well, send it a... well uh, yeah, send it over and I'll speak with the owner. I mean, if it's going to be a low ball offer, don't even bother to be honest with you. What's low ball? Well, like a hundred thousand under. They're not even going to entertain that. They're not even going to bother looking at the offer. Are the kind of offers that you've been getting? No, no, nope, nope. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, if you want to send it over, we'll I'll, go I'll from there. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks, Kieran. All right. You got it. It's okay. Sometimes it's good for you just to shut up. Like right there, it's like, okay, I'll just shut up. Okay, cool. That's another MLS listing called another agent conversation. Damn, we're at like a 90% response rate right now, which is freaking amazing. We have 16 in underwriting, four in underwriting complete. Here, I'm gonna go grab some coffee. One second, I'll be right back. Y'all are gonna follow me? Okay, follow me.
One of my coffees burning. Oh. I did not recognize my face. There we go. The glass is in the hat. Kind of trips out the camera sometimes. Um, <clears throat> I have this camera that tracks me and follows me. You can tell that it's me. Got facial recognition. Um, and look at this. Zooms out. Zooms in. Freeze it. Good. It's pretty cool. I like it. Now I can go off frame. I can go back on frame. Okay, unfreeze. <clears throat> I have a tendency to make coffees and not drink them before they um, they get cold. <coughs> so today our goal is to make thirty offers, um, and we have four in underwriting complete. So actually, you know what? Let me just start releasing them. That one says for abandon. How about this one? Yep, this one's good to make an offer on. <clears throat> so we're going to use my offer template. Offer for property address. And then I'm going to attach my proof of funds. Why is it not showing up? Why is it being weird? Attach files, upload from system. Weird. Upload from media file, upload file. It's being hella strange. I don't know why it's not letting me attach my proof of funds. Fuck it. I'm going to send this one without my proof of funds. I'll survive. Um, hey, Kim Burley. Just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Okay, and we'll count that as a written offer. Then we will put her in the offer submitted category and move on to the next. Um, Jordan Johnson says, where did you get your proof of funds? Uh, FlipFundLLC at gmail.com. Just email them, say, hey, um, hey, beautiful. Email them, say, hey, beautiful. Can I get a proof of funds in the state of whatever state for the amount of whatever amount? And they're going to be like, yeah, give me 12 bucks. <laughs> Straight up. Just email them, bro. Uh, Flip Fund LLC. Start your email with Hey Beautiful and tell me how it goes. I'm going to grab my coffee. I'll be right back. Boom. Here's my coffee. Look at it. This is a really nice cup. I got it from Costco. I got four for $20. Same with this. I got this from Costco too. Okay. All right. Next one. Yes. Cheers.
All right, let's get a couple more offers out. Here, we're going to turn the music up while we submit offers because that's just what I like. And we're going to put it on daydreaming. Okay. So this agent says, FYI, this is not a flip property. So anything below $280,000 won't work. I literally do not care. You want to know what my offer is? You really want to know what my offer is? He said, anything under $280,000 won't work. Fuck it. I'm going to offer one fifty seven. You can just deal with it. Let's go. What's up, Jeremy? Good to have you here, bro. Hey, Carol, I just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? All right, and that's another written offer made. Um, Gene says, working on an offer myself, the gentleman is being a bonehead and changing it from try to do, asking cash only, saying he's motivated, not sure if I want to explain sub to or walk, I'm not trying to put myself into a position to raise rent. Seller says it doesn't need repairs and other than off building repairs. I'm like, that means big repair, LOL, you should probably walk would you um i don't have enough context to understand your situation correctly uh, but i will say that you know sellers and agents bullshit you all the time they'll bs you all the time take everything they say with a grain of salt <clears throat> honestly myself i don't really give a shit what they say i don't believe it i like verify everything um because it's in their best interest to lie to you right so sellers are liars and agents will lie to you too. So just make your offer, dude. It's it's literally what you think it's worth. Like, and if they if if they try to make you feel bad for offering what you think it's worth, then um yeah, whatever. Um that's their problem, not your problem. Like I just offered um a hundred and thirty thousand dollars below what they said their bottom line was. Like they they said we can't take anything less than two eighty. Um, that it's not a flip property. I don't care. I offered like 140 something. I think it was. That's my offer. If they if they decline it, they decline it. Whatever. Okay. So the other one's for abandoned too. All right. Well, let's keep calling. All right. Stacy Purcell. Let's pull it up on Zillow. Open the 
about the age of the oh, AC water heater. Hey, is this Stacy? Hey, Stacy. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on 45th. Okay. Um, I'm the broker. It's, it's really like my agents run all that stuff. Did you, um, what number did you call? Do you know? Cause I don't, you called my personal phone. Uh, 0636. Yeah. I can give you the office number to call on it. I mean, if there's that much friction involved, I'll probably just end up passing. Okay. All righty. Well, have a good day. All right. Take care. Okay, next one, anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater? Nope, let me give them a call. This is Don Walls with Mark Spain Real Estate. Um No answer. Um, we will put her in the no response category. We will track our KPIs. Okay, cool. Now, um, hey, Jean, so I want to say something to you. So you said um, at the very end, you said so mad that, you, that you're mad. Um, and I, I want you to understand this very valuable thing that I've learned. You are in control of your own emotions. You, nobody else is in control of your emotions. The only person that can make you mad is you. You decided to be mad. So when you say, um, if you ever blame someone else for making you mad, someone else's actions um, for influencing your neurochemical balance, you're just putting your, you're just making yourself into a victim and victims have no control and they will not, there's either victims or they're victors, right? So if you say I'm mad because of this person's actions, then you're just a victim and you have no control. Um, and that's not a good way to live your life. That's not how you will be successful as an entrepreneur. So when I say this with love, um, because this is a hard lesson that I learned that I am in control of my neurochemistry, no matter what happens, no matter what external things happen, I internally decide what neurochemicals I want to release. So me releasing neurochemicals of anger or stress is completely my choice. Um, so things can happen to you. Um, people can be people can treat you in ways that didn't meet your expectations. And you can decide 
how to feel about it. So you can decide to be angry and attribute their actions to your neurochemical state, or you can decide to choose to release happy neurochemicals and brush it off. Um, so sorry, I come off so bluntly. I just don't want to dance around it, but I just want to tell you because I know how valuable that insight is, um, and how much that would help you. Um, thank you, Gene. Love you, Gene. You're amazing. Okay. On to the next. I, I, I get, I get negative feelings too. Sometimes I just try to catch myself as quick as possible. When I get these negative feelings, um, I, I try to catch myself and say, Oh, wait a minute. Did I just give up my control to an external factor? That's not what I want. And then I change it, but it's constantly a work in progress. Let me call this agent. Monica Crawford with the Crawford team. Okay, we will double Monica Crawford with the Crawford team at Keller Williams, St. Pete Real. Right, no answer. I will put her in the no response category. And I will update my KPIs. Why is this one in here? Oh yeah, floor to ceiling windows, dated. I don't know if this one quite makes a cut. I, I wanna pass on it actually. Abandon, be nice. Update. I think the roof is like really dated. You can tell the discoloration, but I don't know if HOA takes care of the roofs. Let me call. Hello, this is Kelly. Hey, Kelly. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about the property that you have listed on Pinellas Bayway. Yes. 
Well, I'm interested in it. Um, hey, I, I wanted to make sure I understood correctly. So I, I'm assuming roof is covered by the HOA. Um, how about the HVAC system? Do we have the age of the HVAC? Um, this is, are you a realtor? No. Are you in a, are you with an investment company? I'm an investor. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, you just, it didn't sound like, it didn't sound like a regular buyer. Um, no worries. So I was, it's, um, let's see how old it is. I got to pull it up here. You know, it, it was interesting cause I, I see the discoloration on it. So I like, you know, right off the bat, I'm thinking like bad roof, but they're all connected. So I'm assuming HOA takes care of it. Um, discoloration on the roof. It looks that- discolored. I mean, I mean, with with the terracotta roofs like that, um, you know, with it, is it isn't that one a tile roof? I want to say I've got to think of which property I had. Hold on, I have twelve listings, and I could be confusing. Congratulations, those. good stuff. No, that's not really. I mean, I normally have about twenty five. So, <laughs> oh. roof is ten about ten years old. Air condition AC is eight years old. Water heater is eight years old. Um, let me look at my listing. What's included with the HOA is <coughs> it's uh, doesn't say roof, mm-hmm. it doesn't show roofs on there. So, uh, but you mentioned, are... you mentioned it's about 10 years old. I, I mean, I would assume that it's got a good amount of life left in it, then, right? That's yeah. Yeah, I don't think, and you know what? I don't think it's this colored. I think it's the photo editing. Hmm. I'm looking at these, and they all—they actually, to be honest, these look totally uniform. So I'm wondering if if he has, he just. I feel like the roof is covered here. <laughs> mm-hmm. The more I'm looking at it, um, because they all look the same. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would assume so, especially with them all being attached and then being tile roofs, it's kind of hard yeah. to, uh, to just do your portion. Um, yeah, I mean, I can I can find I mean I can verify I can call the HOA and verify that. Um, that's okay. We could proceed with the assumption on my offer, and then you know if if we go under contract, then I'll I'll make sure all that stuff is squared away. Um, what's what's the story on this one? Like, it's. Um, he's just i mean he's moving back up north moving to be closer to family um okay. it's a place that he i mean he, he actually he spent more time here and he's barely spending any time here now because he's up north more with family and just gotten to the stage of his life where he isn't going to be hopping back and forth as much okay okay yeah. um yeah, yeah. Does it come with a dock is there something that i saw about that um, there's a community, like there's a community dock, but um, it doesn't come with like a slip for a boat. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get to work on running my numbers. Um, what email should I send my offer to? Kelly at kellyparksteam.com. Kelly at kellyparksteam.com. Are you looking at doing this as a flip or as a... Um, as a rental, buy and hold. Probably hold for a while. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you looking for short-term rentals? Is that allowed by the eighth it... way? I, I no matter what, no. I would need it to no. cash flow as a long-term rental. I will do short-term rental, but it has to pan out as a long-term rental as well, just as a fail-safe. Yeah, yeah. They're not. Um, there's actually, actually, there's no renting. There's no renting at all? No renting. Okay. Yeah, that's what it says. Okay. And me... I, actually, that's true. There's no rentals in there. Okay, let me run my numbers as a flip. I, I don't know if it would work, but I'll, I'll take a look and I'll see what it comes out to. Yeah, I think it could be a good flip um, because he's just it's more dated, but yeah, but yeah it's not going to work as a rental. Okay, Thank, thanks for okay. letting me know. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks, Bye. Kelly. Take care. Okay, did our KPIs. That's another MLS listing called another agent conversation. 
Dang, look at that. We're doing pretty darn good. <clears throat> let's refresh. And let's see what we're sitting at. Okay, we got 15 in underwriting, four in underwriting complete. Let's make some more offers. Offer template. Offer for property address. Hey, contact first name. Hey, Randy. I just sent you my offer for property address did you receive it uh, okay and then we will update written offer made we will put him in the offer submitted category and now uh camera phone dude Come on, you, you, bro. Please tell me you got a better name uh, than camera phone. That is so corny. Um, camera phone says, "Hey guys, I'm confused. What's the point in making offers if you don't intend to buy?" Um, so of course our intention is to buy, right? You know, we we either want to take it down ourselves or we want to. Sorry if I hurt your feelings, camera phone. Um, <laughs> So we we either intend to take it down ourselves or we intend to sign, assign it to another person. Um, the ideal situation is we take it down ourselves and we add to our portfolio. If um, that doesn't work out or it's too much of an inconvenience for us, then we have the alternative route of assigning it, um, which means we bring in another investor and they take our position in the contract and we get paid to walk away from the deal. A lot of people wholesale. And that's kind of the majority of our businesses, our wholesale businesses, we find deals, uh, we make our offers, we put them on their contract, and then we assign them to end buyers. Of course, uh, we are buyers, and we do have intentions to buy. But if the stars don't align, or you know, the donkey doesn't come home at exactly 1158, then we can assign it, right? That's, it's just different exit strategies that you can take. My pleasure, camera phone. Offer for
Hey, Nancy. Wait a minute. Why did it not go through? N A N C Y. Here, let's try to Google her um, to get her email address. Because apparently that email address is invalid. N A N C Y N Y C. Oh, that's why. N Y C. Save. Resend. Let's turn off D N D. Refresh. Good morning, Carolyn. And Natting says, what is the ideal amount if asked for a proof of funds? Um, I use a $1 million proof of funds just because it counts for everything. Um, but I don't know. I don't know exactly what the ideal amount is. I haven't like tested it. Hey, Nancy. It's Nathan Harris. I just emailed you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Cool. And now we can track that as another written offer made and we're at four written offers. And then we'll put that in the offer submitted category. <clears throat> We're going to hit the refresh button again just to see if we have any new ones. Oh, we do. Nice. Ryan Diaz. Let's go. One hundred and thirty thousand. So we'll drop that ten K. One twenty. And hey, Ryan, it's Nathan Harris. I just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it?
Bam. Okay, and we will drag him to the offer submitted category. And now we have 25 offers remaining to get out today. Um, Natting says, does it have to be your personal money? No, you can use somebody else's money um, for your proof of funds. Let's do it tonight. One second. Let me check my calendar before I say that. Reclaim. Yeah, let's do it tonight. 8 p.m. EST? Question mark. Okay. One more second. Okay, cool. All right, back to work. Let's keep dialing. Let's keep loading up the underwriting category. Okay, anything about the age of the roof? Yep. Uh, we have HVAC system, but nothing about the age of the roof. All right, let's give them a call. This is Stacy Okay, we will double dial. This is Stacy Soraki. Thanks for your call. Sorry, I missed. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, we already double dialed her. It's not, it's not triple dialer. I think that's a little bit excessive. Okay, and we will update our KPIs. Pardon me for a second. I have to use the washroom. I'll be right back.
Boom. All right, let's keep going. Alex, how can I help you? Hey, Alex. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property you listed on 61st. Uh, yes, how can I help you with that one? Hey, so I'm looking at this here. It's it's kind of looking like a teardown. I wanted to hear from you. Like, what's the story with it? It's a teardown. My uh, partner and I are mainly wholesalers, but we used private money to buy it about three weeks ago and then clean it up it actually looked worse than it does now if you can believe that and then we just uh, listed it on the mls with intention of taking the highest and best offer to make the best profit on it of course sounds like a smart way to do it okay uh yeah yeah we like to do it that way no i like it i like it so a couple of things uh would love to be added to your buyers list um i can text you my buying criteria and then with this one i will run my numbers on it and submit an offer um, what email should I send my offer to? Uh, you can just do amjandic at gmail.com. Sorry, A-N as in Nancy? Uh, M as in Mary. A-M. And then your last name, jandic at gmail.com? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. And um, yeah, if you want to add me to your buyer's list, I'll text you my buying criteria and my contact card. That'd be awesome, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you as well, Alex. Um, I'll get that off to you okay. shortly, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Have a good one. Okay, so. Cool. All right, now we will update our KPIs. That's another MLS call, agent conversation, and that's an agent added. We're gonna hit that refresh button, get some nice clean data. Where did my flippers go? Okay. Let's pull it up on the Zillow first. Okay. Why why this one? What is it about this one? Roof. Kitchen ish. I don't know why. I, just, I might skip it. 
pretty close to skipping it. Yeah, I'm gonna skip it. So yeah. abandon, too nice. Earth 2021, AC 2016, good. All right, let me call them. Hi, this is Melinda. Hey, Melinda, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing you have on Denver Street. Nathan, yeah, how can I help you? Uh, so I'm a buyer. I'm not an agent. I was uh, I was about to run my numbers, but I figured I'd touch base with you first. Is there anything yeah. else about this property that I should know and budget for? No. So it is just not gorgeous. That's all. <laughs> it needs a little <laughs> bling. <laughs> but mm. it's solid. It, it, it's a great flow. It has a two-car garage. It has a side porch it is a true four bedroom true four bedroom but the only thing that's wrong with it is it's just not gorgeous it has the original you can see in the pictures uh in the kitchen the original like i don't know like drop down ceiling that mm -hmm. sort of curves yep. have you seen the photos yep, so, yeah yeah it. it just it's got some funky light fixtures on the wall and just needs somebody to go in there and put their personal touch sure yeah okay um it, lo it looks like a good project it's a bit overpriced but i'll uh i'll make an offer for you what email okay. should i send it to melinda realtor at hotmail.com melinda Re um do you have access to the property like do you want to go and look at it is it on lockbox yep uh-huh okay um let me make an offer and let's make sure that we're in the same range and then I'll go walk it. Um, but I just don't want to go walk it unless if the seller is ready to accept something realistic. Okay. Okay. But I'm, I'm ready to go. Is Like I noticed you guys did the price reduction as a seller, like really ready to go on this one, really ready to actually yep. get it sold or are they still trying yep. to juice it? We've been ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm actually with, um, I'm closing a property today, so I'm actually with people. I stayed on the phone a little too long, but can I call you back in a little while or just proceed? You no can worries. Proceed with your no worries. I'll just I'll just text you after I send it, and then we'll go from there. All right. Thank you, Melinda. Thank you. Tell me your name again. My name is Nathan Harris. I'll send you my contact Nathan. card. Okay. Thank you, Nathan. My pleasure. Take right. care. Okay. Okay. And we will update our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called agent conversation. Metal roof. Here, let me call this agent.
this is Lancey. Hey, Lancey. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on uh, Bougie Villa Ave. It, 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 on the what? I'm sorry. Uh, Bougainvillea. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, six seven one. Oh, Bougainvillea. Yes, Bougainvillea. 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 Yes, yes. So, how can I help you? Um. I was reading the description, so I'm glad to hear that there's there's a metal roof included and a water heater and AC and all of that. But I, I was confused because there's no age of any of those items. Do you have the age of the roof, the age of the AC, the age of the water heater? Um, I have. I, I don't have a file with me. I know the AC was older. I think it's a uh, 2011 or something. I I don't. I couldn't give you the exact uh, thing until I get it back. Okay. So can I call you back because uh, I should be back into my house with, uh, by noontime. I'd be glad to check it out information to let you know because uh, most of the information, if I got it either from the seller or from the public's record, if they didn't mention certain thing, I checked the public's record, but I do not have uh, information in hand. So I don't want to say anything was a mistake. Okay, I appreciate that. Why don't I send you a text with the information that I need? And then if you want to just text it back yeah. to me and I'll get you an offer. Yeah, that's no problem. No problem. I don't I appreciate it. If you can do that, that would be awesome. But uh, I'm, I'm in the car right now, so I couldn't help you until later. That's okay. No worries. Well, thank you, Lancey. I'll send that to you now, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Take care. Oops. Hey, Lancey, it's Nathan Harris. We just spoke about the address. When you have a moment, please, can you send me a the roof, AC, and water heater. Also, what now? Should I send my offer? Okay, we'll put that in the waiting on info category. All right, cool. And we will update our KPIs. Another MLS that's been called, another agent conversation. We're at 17 MLS that's been called, 13 conversations. We have another one underwritten complete, so we can make another offer. Hey, John, it's Nathan. Harris, 
manager sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive? Okay, and that's another written offer made, <clears throat> which puts us at six written offers so far, meaning we have 24 remaining. So if theoretically, if we do six every two hours, so six times eight, yeah, we can definitely hit our quota. Roof was replaced in 2015, AC 2017. <laughs> Thank you for calling Century 21. Hold the for calling Century 21 Executive Team. Your call is important to us. Okay, no answer. I'm going to put them in the no response category. I don't know if that was like an answering service or if that was actually the dude's phone number. <clears throat> but I'll put them in either way and see what happens. Okay, next one, pull it up on Zillow. A look anything about the age of the roof ac water heater yep hvac system 2022 okay how about the roof nothing about the roof let me give them a call usually when they don't include like one of those key items it's because it needs to be replaced morning this is carol hey good morning carol my name is nathan i'm calling about that listing that you have on gravella ave sure hey so just a quick question for you before i submit my offer i wanted to get the age of the roof do you have that oh uh, yes hang on one second have you um have you showed the house yet nathan i'm just a buyer i'm not an agent oh okay okay uh let's see let's see Let's see, roof was last year, 2023, and new central heat and air, February 2022. Okay, awesome. Hey, when's the yeah. last time the pool was resurfaced? Um, you know, I'm not sure. He never did it during his ownership, but it definitely could use a resurfacing. Okay. Is it flaking? 
Uh, no, no. I just would, if it was me, I would put a, um, you know, a Pebble Tech finish on it. It's, um, it's just, I guess, kind of, I don't think it's consistent in color. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. No worries. Okay. I will get to work on running my numbers. What email should I send my offer to? Sure. Uh, Carol G C A R O L. I'm sorry. Let me start again. Carol H G. That's C A R O L H G at remax.net. Sounds good. Carol H G at remax.net. I will send that to you and then I'll send you a text afterwards, letting you know that I sent that off. Okay, Nathan. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Take care. Have a great day. You too. Okay, let's track our KPIs. That's another MLS listing call, another agent conversation. Why am I so hungry? <clears throat> Let me go to my... Okay. Boom. Mm. calling Florida's First Choice Realty. Someone will be with you momentarily. Yep, I'm not gonna. So, abandon answering service. Let me grab my blueberries. Ooh, we got another one out of underwriting. Let's take a look at it. Yay, we can submit an offer on it.
that is an interesting email. Follow the mermaid at gmail.com. Offer for property address. Send. Hey. Contact. First name. Just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Cool. So that is another offer submitted. Puts us at seven offers for the day so far. And that means we have 23 remaining offers to make. But Nathan's going to enjoy his blueberries real quick. All right, let's get back to dialing. Got some food in my tummy. Got myself feeling good. Okay, cool. 
Let's dial. <clears throat> Paula. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't like this one. Abandoned. Too nice. Huh, says this one's off market now. Open details. Literally just added it the other day. Wow, they already removed the listing. Okay, whatever. Switch it to loss. Reggie says, I'm pushing, bro. I have more stuff starting to roll in. I just may be able to make it to Squad Up Summit next month. You will, bro. You will make it to Squad Up Summit. I believe in you. Just stay consistent. Be consistent. Put in a lot of offers. You see me? I'm putting in a shitload of offers. Why? Because I want a good amount of money for Squad Up Summit and for Mexico and all that stuff. I'm going to abandon this one. Abandon 55 plus. Back five years old water heater. Five years old. I'm going the roof. The roof is new. And call Eve. Oh, where's her phone number? Did it not save in here? Yeah, it's going a little bit too fast. I have to this one. It's okay. Pop it in. Refresh. My big ass heater up on my desk. Okay, we will double dial. And it's really important that you double dial because iPhones on Do Not Disturb, the second call will go through. All right, ear? What, what do you mean, ear? I 
Why is it deteriorating? Don't know why. Interesting. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess we'll just text that. We will update our KPIs. That's another MLS system called. Okay, I want to check my conversation tab real quick. Uh, Okay, this one we can set to underwriting because we have the info now. Yeah, 16 and underwriting. Let's keep going. I'm currently pending. Yeah, I'll skip it. You know what, I'm gonna give it to Ernesto since Ernesto already has a lead with him and maybe he wants to grab it later on. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Load up on Zillow. Yes, we do have the AC age. What about the roots, though? Hi, you've reached Joseph Torres with Philform Associates Realty. Please leave me a message or send me a quick text message. Okay, we will double dial. <clears throat> Hi. Hey. 
let's send him to the new response category. And we will update our KPIs. And my underwriter is asking a question. Say yes, my Apollo Eve. I is going to fast. Okay, cool. Ooh, we got another one out of the radio. Check it out. Yay, we can submit an offer on it. And hey, Carol. made to our KPIs. Now we only need to make 22 more offers. So far we've made eight. Bro, they're calling this an updated kitchen. Like, these realtors be happy so hard. You've reached Cynthia Fair with Smith and Associates Real Estate. Please leave. Hey, we will double dial. Hello, 
you've reached Cynthia Sarah with Smith and Associates Real Estate. Please be. Okay, no answer. We'll put them in the no response category. and update our KPIs. All right, next one. What's <laughs> okay. Uh, Reggie says, I'm definitely a lot more consistent than I was before and I have a good action and daily plan that I've been hitting. That's great, bro. I like that. Hit that. Hit your KPIs, my dude. Thank you for calling. You've reached Neil Allen with Douglas Allen Real Estate. I'm Thank you for calling. You've reached Neil Allen with Douglas Allen and Real Estate. Hey, no answer. No response category. And update our KPIs. Reggie says, I definitely got to give you a lot of credit because after getting Go High Level and the bots, you guys really made, you guys made has really, sorry. I definitely have to give you a lot of credit because after getting go high level and the bots you guys made has really kept me organized and in the right direction and hopping on the roll of plays. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I read these things so bad. Dude, thank you. Reg Reggie is pretty much saying that the bots, uh, the CRM and the bots and the role play calls are very helpful. Thank you, Reggie. I'm very, I'm very grateful that they're helpful, bro, because gosh, I've been showing up for like seven months and only recently has it started picking up. Um, so I'm like really, really grateful for everybody that comes on and everybody that gets help. And I'm grateful for you, of course, very grateful for you. Um, so yeah. And guys, like if you don't have a quality CRM yet, like you should get one. I give one away for free. Um, text systems, S Y S T E M S to eight, one, three, four, three, seven, one, seven, zero, nine. It's down there at the bottom of the screen. Um, if you text systems, S Y S T E M S to eight, one, three, four, three, seven, one, seven, zero, nine, I will give you a free AI powered wholesaling CRM. And thank you for Don. Thank you. I appreciate you. Here. Let me talk to my underwriter real quick. One second.
was just speaking with my underwriter. He's a really critical thinker. I like it. He's well worth it. Next one, let's take a look at it. I think I'm gonna skip this one. Abandon to nice. This one too. Abandoned, too nice. Give this one a call. Hi, you've reached Jessica Steck. I'm sorry I can't get to the phone right now. If you Okay, we will double dial. Hey, Jessica. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property you listed on Robin Road. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm interested in submitting an offer on it. I would like to confirm a couple of details before I run my numbers. Can I ask you a couple of questions about it? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I, I was wondering as to the age of the roof and the AC. Do you have that? Um, yes. The, well, the, the roof... Um it's got eight more years on it. So actually, it went under contract, and then the the buyer actually got a, a cancer diagnosis. So it's a still, still out of the, the deal because they weren't moving the same piece. But um, so I do know that that just came out of the inspection that the roof's got another eight years and the H V A C. I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's it's. It's not old, um, you know. I've, I'm driving from it back from Atlanta, so otherwise I would look it up. Okay, okay, no worries. But I could get, um, do you have the age? Like, how old is the roof? Uh, the roof is. Um, oh goodness! It's, gosh, um, yeah. I mean, it's getting up there. Where it's, it's going to need to be replaced, you know in the next couple of years. Okay. I mean, yeah. It's... Gosh, I just, I can't, uh, you know, I, I can't give you the exact, yeah. Okay. Okay, no worries. Um, what what email should I send my offer to? Oh, okay, okay. So, um, jstick at smithsonassociates.com. Sorry, is um, it your first to... name, last oh, name? So it's this J, Steck, S T E C K, and Associates.com. Okay. Sounds good. Yes, you know, I have, I have your client seen the house? I'm. I'm looking at it for myself and I want to make sure that the seller is ready to accept something realistic before I go walk it. 
So I'll, I'll make my offer based on, based on the photos. And if they're willing to accept something realistic, then I'll be happy to walk it. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All um, right. Well, thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Take care. Cool. That is another MLS listing called another agent conversation. And I'm going to hit that refresh button. Okay, I have another one in the underwriting complete category. All right, we'll submit an offer on it. Okay, cool. That's another written offer made, which puts us at nine written offers for the day so far. Which means we only need to make another 21. And then we've hit our goal. Yo, what's up, Alvaro? Welcome to the live stream, bro.
please leave your message for 3522631388. Yeah, so my goal for the day, Alvaro, is to make 30 offers today. You have made nine so far. Hello, this is Mark. Hey, Mark. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you listed on Eldwood Drive. I believe so. I'll give you my ID. Hold on. Sure. Yeah, that and social security number and then your credit card number. Can we do that? Hold on. Can we do that again? Hello, sir. How can I help you? Oh, I thought you were giving me your um your ID and your I was like that and your social security number and your credit card number. Uh, how can I help you? Hey, so I'm calling about that property that you listed on Eldwood. Yes, sir. Okay. I just looked at it on Eldwood. Yeah, I know you listed it on Hello. When was the pool last resurfaced? I have no idea, sir. I could get that information to you a little bit later, but I'm I'm not sure. I know the owner that owns it now didn't resurface it, and he's owned the property for at least three years or four years. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, not not a not too big of a deal. Um, what email do I send my offer to? I'm just a buyer. I'm you not send it to. All right, you can send it to Mark. M A R K Gomes G O M E S eighty two at yahoo dot com, and I could text that to you too if I need to. If you don't mind, that would be great. I'll definitely do that. Thank you, Mark. All right, I'll let you know as soon as we send that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, so. And we will update our KPIs. Um, so yeah, my goal today, 30 offers, um, we've made nine so far. Hey, what's up, bro?
sorry about that. I was just speaking with my business partner real quick. Okay, so. Hello, this is Jillian. Hey, Jillian. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property you have listed on Clyde Street. Uh-huh. I'm interested in it. I'd just like to confirm a couple of details before I start running my numbers. Um, I'm wondering as to the... Let me just stop you. They're, they're not going to take low-ball offers if you're trying to flip it. What's so a low-ball offer? Uh, under 350 Wow. So what kind of offers are coming in? Time. Don't even waste your time. Thanks. Okay, whatever. I'll move on to the next one. Okay, we will track our KPIs. That's one MLS listing called, one agent conversation. All right. Brand new roof. Oops. Oops, I accidentally closed that. Present. Screen share. Boom. There we go. All right, let's call Chandler. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. We will double dial. Hello? Yes, sorry. There's a little bit of wind in the background. Um, nothing can you hear me now? I, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Hey, Chandler. How's it going? Um, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about the property that you listed on Linden Drive. Yeah, how can I help you, Nathan? I just wanted to confirm. Um, so you say a modern AC. Like, how modern? Could you could you tell me the age of it? It's like three years old, I believe. Okay, gotcha. Dude, some of these agents, they'll be like, it's a new AC in 2012. I'm like, what the yeah. hell? Come on, that's such a stretch. They know they years old. The roofs... Um, I believe from 2022. So, okay, cool. everything's pretty much like the the bones and stuff, you know, up to date. Obviously, cosmetic wise, is not the most updated. It's in uh, the neighborhood, but that's okay. No worries. Hey, question for you: When's the last time the pool was resurfaced? I'm not 100% sure on that. However, I do know the pool pump works. Why is it empty right now? Yeah, he, he emptied it because he's an old guy. 
he didn't want to like be by the pool but uh, i mean if you guys put an offer you can you're welcome to put like a contingency that you know we got to fill the pool and make sure it works but inspect the pump etc okay gotcha how long has it been empty for i think right before we got that right before we took the pictures when i first went there um it was empty but he had just emptied it uh not too long before that okay most positive okay all right well I'll, I'll get to work on running my numbers um what email do i send my offer to <laughs> um i believe it's uh erica's are you which listing are you looking at are you looking at the one posted through miami or posted through tampa Dude, I'm not a realtor. I'm just looking at it on Zillow. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Sometimes it'll show my number. Sometimes it'll show the uh, the co agent's number, uh, number or email. Um, I'll just give number. you my email. <clears throat> okay. What's your email? C H A N A L E X business at gmail.com. So you got Chan Alex business at gmail.com. Yep. Cool. Awesome. I'll send you my offer and then I'll send you a text afterwards. Letting you know that I sent it. Roger that. Thank you, brother. My pleasure. Thanks Chandler. Take care. <clears throat> okay, cool. We will update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing called another agent conversation. We're at 18 agent conversations, 27 MLS listings called. We're doing pretty good. Pretty darn good. <coughs> um, Nikki says my motivation today. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you very much, Nikki. I appreciate you. Um, and Yvez says, what's up, Nathan? Thank you, Yvez. Thanks for being here. Hey, guys, if you're on Facebook, um, can you guys come over to YouTube? Because I really got to get my watch hours up on YouTube. <clears throat> Let me check out what I'm at right now. <coughs> Let's see. I'm so close. I have 3,341 watch hours, and I need to get to 4,000 before I can get ad revenue. Proof 2023. AC water heater, anything about that? Nope. All right, let me call him. Hey, this is Shane. Please leave your message and I'll call you back. Okay, no answer from Shane. We'll double dial him. Hey, this is Shane. Please leave your message. And I'll okay, we will text Shane then. And update our KPIs. It's another MLS listing called and on to the next. Let's take a look at it on Zillow. Take a look at it on Zillow. Let's take a look at it on Zillow. Sometimes I talk too fast and I just mumble my words. Okay, we will call the agent. Hello? 
Hello, this is Barbara. May I help you? Hey, Barbara. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Danwood Drive. We just sold it. Can oh. I show you something else? You sold it already. Like it's closed. No, I we no everything is signed. Okay, so you're under contract. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have any other fixer uppers things in original condition? Are you are you a uh, are you a flipper? Yes, I'm not a realtor, I mean, yeah. by the way. Yeah, you're not a realtor. Okay. No, I I really don't have anything right now. Um, um, but I have your number here. If I get something, I'll give you a call. Okay, why don't I send you my buying criteria? That way um, you can look for the things yeah. that I'm looking for. That sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Barbara. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so we will abandon that one. And then we will update our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called agent conversation, agent added, because we added an agent there. Cool. Yay, we got some more out of underwriting. All right, let's submit some offers. Okay, that's a written offer made, which puts us at 10 offers for the day so far. And that means we got 20 offers remaining. We have another one ready to go.
Okay, boom, there we go. Okay, Melinda. I just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Oh crap, I forgot to share my screen when I was doing that. Anyways, just put an offer in on that property, offer submitted, and update our KPIs. We're now at 11 offers made for the day, which means we have 19 remaining. And we're going for 30 offers today. So 30 offers is the goal. I believe we can do it. Hey, Keith, it's Nathan. I gave you a call yesterday about the Whitby Road property. Yes. Hey, so I'm I'm a buyer. I'm not an agent. I uh, I don't get to see your guys' emails. What's what's your email? I'm going to send over my offer now. Okay, you can send it to my personal email, Viper, V-I-P-E-R, 5670, at Hotmail.com. Okay, so it's V-I-P-P-R. Five, no. six. Viper like uh, like the car. V I V I P E R. V I P E R. Okay. Yeah. V I P E R five six seven zero at hotmail dot com. Yes, sir. Sweet. Sounds good. I'll send it over to you shortly, and I'll let you know over text that I sent it. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Keith. Take care. Bye bye. So I already have the details on this one and Keith is already um, an agent that I work with. So I can just be super casual with him. Cool. Some of these agents get salty when you make them an offer that they don't like. They get really emotionally attached. Sometimes I'm like, do I want to respond to them? And then I'm like, you know what? There's like no point in even getting involved in those kind of like, like what, what what's the value that you get out of it? Like, well, let me prove to you why I'm right. Like, there's no fucking point. There's no value. Go do something more productive. Like this agent here, he's like um, all upset because I submitted a low offer and he's texting me. He's like, that's ridiculous. Like, don't waste my time. Um, let me, I could read you what he says. Um, so he's like, really? I'm going to present that offer to my client anyways, but it's a joke. Um, and it's like, okay, dude, like, first of all, like, you don't need to say that. Like, you just show your immaturity by saying that. Second of all, like Nathan, there's no re there's no reason to need to respond to that because that's just not a good use of your time, you know. And it's also like, like, what value do you get out of like justifying yourself? You don't need to justify yourself if 
if they don't like your offer, that's okay. They don't like your offer. They, they'll decline it. Um, you don't need to like convince them as to why you're right. And I notice that a lot in life, like a lot of people, like they get into arguments and they feel as though like their pride is on the line and they have to convince the other person why they're right. But like, it's actually very beneficial to just walk, right? Just walking from a conversation is really beneficial because what do you get out of convincing them that they're right? They're, they're not going to admit that you're right. They don't want to admit that they're right because their pride's on the line and you're trying to justify your pride by admitting that you're right. But like, who are you really impressing? Like, who are you impressing? There's no point. There's no point in trying to impress people with an immature mindset like that. Like walking is sometimes the best thing you can do is just walking away from it, just being like, whatever, and just moving on. Don't let you don't let yourself dedicate mental resources to something like that. Speaking. Hey Mike, how you doing? It's Nathan. Hey, hey Nathan, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, congratulations on this listing you got on uh, Belmont Road. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, my pleasure. Um, question for you. So I, I do want to make you an offer, um, but I don't see anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater, or any of that stuff. Do you have that information? I do have it at my office. Um, okay. What I can do is I can text it to you once I get back in. Sure. Sounds good. Why, why don't I send you a text um, with the property address and the information that I need? And then once you get back to the office, you can just reply to it. And then um, I'll make you an offer afterwards. Wonderful. I definitely will do that. Sounds Give me great. about an hour and I'll have it back to you. Perfect. Thanks, Mike. Perfect. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye now. Mike, it's Nathan Harris. I just spoke with you about property, ad property address. Do you have a reach of the roof? Also, what email should I send my offer to? Cool. And I will put him in the waiting on info category. Sweet. And then we will update our KPIs. Another agent conversation, an MLS listing called. So we're at 31 MLS listings called, um, 21 agent conversations, two agents added, um, 11 written offers, 22 agent follow-up SMS, um, two wholesaler follow-up SMS. Here, give me one second. I'll be right back.
Boom, I'm back. Anything here about the age of the roof, AC water heater? Nope. Hey, this is Robert Adams with Dennis Realty and Investment Group. Okay, I will double dial him. Hey, this is Robert Adams. No answer. We will put him in the no response category. Because he did not respond. And then we will add one to our MLS listings call. And call the next one. Ooh, that's a 55 plus community. We're gonna get rid of it. Abandon 55 plus. Update. Okay, next one. That'd be okay, roof twenty eighteen, AC twenty sixteen. Hello, this is Debbie. Hey, Debbie. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Austin Ave. Yes. Hey, so I was about to submit my offer, but I realized I don't have your email. Um, and I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see it on the MLS. Um, what's your email? It's Debra, D E B O R A H Perry, P E R R Y, at Watson. Realty Corp, C -O -O -P, dot com. I can text it to you too if you like. Yes, that's that's a mouthful. Um, please do. Okay, this is yourself. Yes, it is. Thank you, Deborah. Oh, you're welcome. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. Cool. Because all the information is in the listing, so why overcomplicate it? Um. Cool, we got our email. All right, so we'll count that as an MLS listing called.
Okay, cool. Wiki Wachi. Okay, cool. Let's call this agent. Thank you for calling Sherry Bennett of the Team Bennett Group. Okay, we will double dial. Hello, this is Sherry. Hey, Sherry, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property you listed on Delaware Drive. Yes. So I'm interested in it. Um, I noticed that you guys put that there would be a new roof. Um, I'm cool with buying it as is, um, but I'm curious, what is the age of the roof? Well, um, what's the age of the roof on Delaware, isn't it? 20 years? I, th I think I think it's, it's, it's past 15. I'm with a cl another client right now. I know it's past 15, so it won't do financing. Yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll be buying cash either way. I'm looking for a fix and hold, fix and flip. Not totally sure what my exit strategy will be. Um, any any other things with this property that I should budget for or expect? No, it's very, very nice. But I know if you're thinking that you're going to lowball it, he's not going to take it. What's a lowball? Lowball is probably anything. Um, well, if you're going to put the roof on yourself, mm -hmm. I wouldn't go below... 370. Wow, he's optimistic. Well, the other house around the corner just listed for 575. Uh. So I think we're I think we're pretty good. The pool is huge. They don't build pools this size anymore. Really? It's an enormous pool. When's the last time the pool was resurfaced? Um, the pool was resurfaced not that long ago. I think he said like just a few years ago. So it's really nice, and it also backs up to the state park. So um, there's a no build behind you ever. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I'll run my numbers. I'll see what they come out to. I'm, I'm going to make you a data-driven offer. Um, 
if he doesn't like it, I won't be offended. Um, he can just. Okay. Uh, what email should I send my offer to? Team Bennett one at gmail.com. Team Bennett, B E N N E T T one, one at gmail.com. Gmail Is that yeah. one? I'm going to tell you if it's, if, yeah, if, if it's not near 370, don't waste your time sending it over. He's not going to even want me to present it. He's going to tell me no over the phone. Okay. No worries. Um, that team Bennett one, is that like number one or O N E number one? Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you, Sharon. I'll, uh, I'll get to work on it and I'll let you know. All right. Thank you. Take care. Just communicating with my team members. That was kind of funny. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, and we will update our KPIs. That puts us at 34 MLS listings called, 23 agent conversations. Nice. And we have another one out of underwriting now. So we'll make an offer on it. Offer for property address. Send it. Hey, Chan. Where it's it's Nathan Harris. I just sent you my offer for property address did you receive it okay update my kpis it's another offer submitted we'll put him in the offer submitted category sweet and now only 18 more for the day all right let me Keep myself, I'm going to talk to my business partner real quick. One second.
Okay, thanks for being patient. I was just speaking with my business partner. Um, okay, let me pull up the next one. Thank you, Nika. Data-driven offer. Yep, absolutely. Okay, nothing about the roof. AC. All right, let me give him a call. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay, we will double dial. Always double dial. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay, no answer. We will put them in the no response category. And update our KPIs. Cool. Okay, good stuff. All right, next one, Jim Steely. Let's give him a call. Pull it up on Zillow. We only have to make 18 more offers and then we hit 30 offers in the day. That's pretty good. the voicemail box of Jim's. Okay, we will double dial. Hi, this is Jeff. Hey, Jim. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing you have on Spring Hill Drive. Yeah. So I'm a buyer. I'm not an agent. I don't get to see your email. I uh, I wanted to know where I send my offer to. Well, you can just do it verbally with me right away. And then if it sounds good, then you can email it. I, I would prefer to put it in writing. Oh, well, all right. Um, right. I'll text you my email. Perfect. Oh, man, you make my life too easy. I, I try, dude. That's good stuff. All right. Well, thank you, Jim. Um, other than that, like, I, I think I got all the information. You're pretty thorough in the description. Thanks for doing that as well. My God, some no agents, they put like two sentences. Oh, I know. They're idiots. Yeah. Well, they'll be gone, dude, after this new law comes oh. into place. Dude, I know, right? Like, You'll be saying goodbye to all those agents. 
bro, like what's the first thing people do when they get on it, when they become unemployed, they go get their real estate license and they think that like, that's like a get rich quick scheme. It, it's a lot of hard work, isn't it? Exactly. It is dude. It's a lot of shit. And they're just, I mean, they're not, you know, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what, in the last two months on my listings, I've had to fill out the purchase contract for agents because they oh don't have it. Oh my God. It's terrible. Dude, I'm not even an agent, but like I could fill that thing out with my eyes closed. Like, I... yeah. Well, you sound like you're smart. So, yeah. All right. Well, um, I'll text you my email address and shoot it over, and uh, I'll get with you as soon as I can. He's the guy that he works at a hospital. He's like yeah. a, a nurse kind of. So he works some crazy screwy hours. So I may not be able to hear back for a while, but I'll get it for you. No worries. Sounds good. Thanks, Jim. Right, I'll, te I'll, I'll text it over. Perfect. All right. Talk soon. All Take right. care. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, because he's got like so much in the description. There's no point in like asking all these crazy questions. Cool. Okay, 36 MLS listings called, 24 conversations. Did you know that you can actually type on your phone by going like this, by not even raising your finger? Um, so you can go like the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, right? Just like that. I made a, I made a spelling mistake. I said the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy door. But like I did that all with just my thumb and I didn't even have to raise my finger for each tap. It's super cool. Pretty much you just like swipe, 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 swipe and like raise your finger between each one. Okay. Also, did you guys know that the button on the back of your iPhone, or actually you don't even know it's a button most likely, this logo on the back of your iPhone is actually a button. Check this out. Watch. I'll take a screenshot. See? It's a button. Isn't that cool? Here, look at this. I'll take a screenshot again. Oh, I tapped the wrong spot. Why am I doing it wrong? I don't know. I'm doing something wrong. I'm hitting the wrong spot or something. But yeah, either way, y'all saw it. You can re re rewind if you don't believe me. Um, okay, complete roof replacement in 2020 AC. This one looks a little bit too nice for me. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that kitchen. Mm, this one I don't think I want to go after because it's under contract plus um, they're they're seeming to like try really hard to sell it to a conventional and it's not quite distressed enough to justify Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property on Spoon Court. Yes. 
I'm interested in it. I uh, I was about to submit an offer, but I realized um, I don't have the age of the roof or the AC. Do you have that information? Um, well, the roof is original. It's tile. Mm -hmm. They're usually like a 50-year, you know, roof. Yeah, they are. Um, and the AC, I believe, is 2011. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, what email do I send my offer to? Um, you don't have that with the MLS? or? No, I'm not an agent. I'm just a buyer. Oh. Um, okay, I have an offer on the table, just so you know. Congratulations. Um, why, why haven't you guys taken it? I just presented it. Okay. Is it something that you guys are liking, or is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm working with a power of attorney and a seller and an ALF, so I just oh. presented that. Yeah. Okay. Did you still want my email address? Yeah, I'll still submit an offer. Um, what's okay. your email address? It's Jennifer, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R, mm -hmm. at the T-H-E, France, F-R-A-N-C-E, group.com. Okay. Jennifer at the France group.com. You got it. Perfect. Will do. I'll send that off to you and I'll send you a text afterwards. Let you know I sent it. Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Take care. Uh -huh. Dude, <laughs> did you catch that dynamic? Oh, bro. That was funny. Um, she's like, I have an offer. I'm like, congratulations. Why, aren't you why haven't you guys taken it? Oh, uh, we're presenting it right now. I'm like, is it something that you like? Uh, well, I just like called her out on that. Um, crap, I forgot to remember the age Jennifer. of the AC. Okay, cool. Um, what email do I send my offer to? Okay, cool. Well, the roof is around. The age of the roof or the AC. Do you have that information? Um, well, the roof is original. It's tile. Mm -hmm. They're usually like a 50-year, you know, roof. Yeah, they um, are. And the AC, I believe, is 2011. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, what email do I send my offer to? Um, you don't have that with the MLS? or? Okay, put that in underwriting. The refresh button and I'll update my KPIs. 25 agent conversations, 37 MLS listings called. <clears throat> we have 19 in underwriting right now. Pull up the next one. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Do I add it? The carpets really make it look old. Yeah, in the bathroom. Okay. Your call has been forwarded to an automated board. Hey, we will double dial.
Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay, no answer. We will put them in the no response category. Cool. Update our KPIs. That's 38 MLS listings called. Okay, nothing about the age of the roof, AC water heater. <clears throat> Anita. We will call it. Press one to be connected with the listing agent. <sighs> nope. I will not waste my time. Abandon answering. Machine. And the reason why is because all of my automations are built on text follow-up. And if they have an answering machine in the way, then it kind of like eliminates all that text follow-up and it just like throws a cog, throws a wrench in the gears. So I just skipped them. Okay, cool. Let's call this one. Hello, and thank you for calling Andrew Dickinson with Tropic Shores Realty. Okay, I will double dial. Hello, this is Andrew. Hey, Andrew. My name is Nate. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Nova Scotia Drive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I'm interested in buying it. Just wanted to make sure I understand the situation going into it. Um, can you confirm the age of the big ticket items? Um, I noticed here. Uh, sorry, what am I missing here? I thought that there was the age of the roof, but I guess there isn't. How old is the roof? Needs to be replaced. Needs end of life. Okay. How about the water heater and the AC? They've been updated. They're about half life. Okay. Uh, like, what's the age of them? Um, I don't know if I have an actual age on them. Who came up with the uh, half life? Just from what I remember looking at it, and roof is fifteen years old. Okay. And do you have that? But it's at the end of its life. It's a three tab single. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, what email do I send my offer to? Uh, well, just so you know, they're, they're not going to. I mean, we're getting all kinds of 
ridiculously low offers and he's willing to do one of two things either as is with no roof replacement possibly you know he'll go a little lower on the price but uh he's also willing to go half on the roof with a decent price so how whichever way you want to do it if you want to be able to cure it so sounds like at the end of the day it cost me the same amount well yeah it will but the difference is you, whether you get it insured when you buy it or when you insure it later on. Well, I'm buying it cash, so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fire you an offer. I mean, if he declines it, I'm not going to be emotionally destroyed. Um, I, I will admit, like, it's a very, very high asking price. And, it, you know, you look at how many days on market it's had and how many views it's had on Zillow, like 282 views and nine saves. Like, it's pretty clear that the market agrees. Yeah, I realize that, but you got to realize these are old school people. And, you know, they want to run the gauntlet like they did in the old days and they don't listen to direction. So yeah. what do you do? Not take the listing or try to work with it the best <laughs> you can? Yeah, you tell them the truth and they pick a different agent. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So, Reality starting to settle in, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, let me know yeah, there's, if there's anything I can do to help you with that. Like if, if you want like some data driven feedback, that way you can bring it to the seller and be like, Hey, look, you know, this is like why people are offering this. Yeah. I mean, they're finally coming to grips with reality. It's really the husband that's holding up the deal here. So. Okay. Um, we're working on them. Gotcha. What, what's your email? Um, what should be in the MLS, but it's, uh, I can text it to you too, but it's a Dickinson three D I C K I N S O N three at Tampa Bay dot R dot com. I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see it. Um, but it sounds like it's, uh, a Dickinson three okay. at Tampa Bay dot R dot com. Yeah, I can text it to this number if you like. If you could, please. I'd appreciate that a lot. Okay. Thank I you, Andrew. I'll text you my contact info then. Sounds good. And if you come across any other, you know, original conditions or properties that need some work, uh, really anything that I could force some equity into, very happy to make you an offer on them. Okay. All right. Thank you. My pleasure. Take care. Talk soon. Hey, 39 MLS listings called, 26 agent conversations. <laughs> we have 20 in underwriting right now. So roof 2023, um, AC 2008. So we can the underwriting now. Boom. Melinda says, that we got a decline, no problem with that in the decline category. Cool.
21 in underwriting. We need to make 18 more offers. It's four hours into the eight hours. I'm hella hungry. Yeah, I'm going to order a burrito because I got to eat because I'm hungry. Yeah, Uber Eats. I've been trying to eat healthy, but um, Reggie says, phone calls for the rest of today. I got my SMS rate limit again, and I'm grounded to 12, till 1241 tomorrow. Um, guess I'll take a quick lunch break because SMS grounded me. Yeah, that's kind of funny, bro. Dude, it's, it's a little bit annoying that they added that rate limit, but you just got to work with it. Okay, let's see. Does Fat Bastards have a two-for-one special? Nope. Well, I'm not ordering at Fat Bastards. Bar Burritos has a buy one, get one free special. Burrito special, buy one, get one free. $10.69 for a burrito. We're going to go for a regular whole wheat. Mexican rice. Pinto beans. <clears throat> with pineapple salsa. Cheese, corn, green peppers, lettuce. Pickled jalapenos, red onions, tomatoes, pickled onions, cilantro. Um, signature hot, spot, hot sauce, as well as chipotle barbecue. I like my burrito toasted on all four sides, please. Period. Thank you for continuing to run your two-for-one special. You motivate me to eat burritos, period. I will be giving birth to a burrito baby tomorrow. As a matter of fact, I will be giving birth to two burrito babies tomorrow. <laughs> Do I want to include that in the instructions? Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to include that in the instructions. Please make it super duper spicy. Because the spicier it is, the easier it is to give birth to the burrito babies. Period. Much appreciated. Okay, now nah, I should I should remove that whole part about giving birth to burrito babies. That's that's kind of immature, and I don't know if they'll take it the right way. Please make it very spicy and saucy. Out the order. View cart. Go to checkout. All right. <clears throat> it says hang tight. Okay, order received. Latest arrival by 1:50 p.m., but it should be here by 
Sweet. Let's keep dialing. Good afternoon, how can I help you today? Hey Patrick, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing you have on San Vincent Way. Yes, are you a buyer or a realtor? I'm a buyer. Okay, how can I help you? Hey, I was just curious, is that roof original? Is the roof original? Yeah. No. What year is the roof? Um, I don't have that right in front of me right now. Um, have you been to the property at all? At his open houses? He's having an open house again Sunday from 12 to 4. He's not going to give it away. I'm just going to tell you, I get a lot of these calls. They start with that. Well, I'm a cash buyer and all that. So I'll skip the preamble. Um, <laughs> so if you're not interested in that price point and looking to be like 350 360 he's not interested hmm. sounds like you're getting a lot of offers around that 350 range no it's just the spam calls that happen because everybody's a wholesaler now hmm. well i'm going to be honest with you and even based on what zillow says here 59 days on market don't care about zillow zillow will be out of business in about 12 months <laughs> okay <laughs> there's not going to be any more buyers in the state Look, i we're good you have a great day, buddy. All right. This guy is like really overpriced. And yeah, I'm not even going to get caught up on it. So I'm just going to abandon it. Move on to the next one. All right. Catherine Miller. Oh, red, hit your limits, bro. Whenever you open it, it increases it. Hi, this is Cookie with Remax Sunset Realty. Your call is very important. Yeah, hey, Reggie, bro, you actually, you really want to hit your limit because every single time you hit your limit, it increases your cap. It increases your limit. So try to hit that limit and get that increased. <laughs> All right, let's call Cookie again. Hi, this is Cookie with Remax Sunset Realty. Your call is very important. Okay, no answer. We will put her in the no response category. We will update our KPIs. And on to the next one. Hello, this is Sean Kwiatkowski with People's Trust Realty. Please leave your name, telephone number, and a brief message, and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you.
at the tone, please. Okay, I will double dial. <clears throat> Answer, so we will put him in the no response category. Sean Kakowski. We will update our KPIs. Puts us at 42 MLS listings called. And I think um, we just had what's her name get back to us? Um, Krista. K R. Okay, here we go. Krista, I wonder if we have all the necessary information. Yeah, we do. One second though, I'll be right back. Okay, so AC units, 2020 water heater, 2017. Oh, we're just waiting on the roof. Thanks, comma, is the What year is the roof? Okay, we'll put her in the waiting on info since we're like super close. He responded to us. All right, y'all want an update on the KPIs? Let me give you an update. <clears throat> okay, so here's what we're at. I'm gonna zoom in like super close. That way, it's nice and easy for you to read. So we've called 42 MLS listings. We've had 29 agent conversations. We've added two agents that are gonna to continue to send us POP listings. Um, we've made 12 written offers and we've done 22 SMS follow-ups. And that's that that's follow-up conversations, right? So that's not just like automated messages. That's the automated messages go out and then we do a little back and forth. Um, <clears throat> and then we have two wholesaler follow-up SMS. Now, Richard says, how are the properties loaded into this system? Do you do that all at one time? Yeah, so if you go back um, two episodes, so two days in the past, episode 13 of Making MLS Offers Live, I literally spent like six hours just scraping privy um, for properties. I would highly recommend watching it. I showed people like how to scrape privy and I added 150 leads to my CRM um, in six hours. So really, really worthwhile. These are all MLS leads. So they're all free leads. Yeah. Let me uh, see here. How's my burrito coming along? Let's see where it's at. Still preparing my order. Okay, and then that agent said original to build date, so 2003. Roof 2003. Cool, and I will put it in underwriting. 
Boom. Now we have 21 in underwriting. Ooh, we got one out of underwriting now. Ah, crap. It's for abandoned. Okay, whatever. Let's keep calling. Deal card. My pleasure, Richard. My pleasure, bro. Okay, that's a 55 plus community. I overlooked that. 55 plus, abandon. Right, we're just reading the description real quick here. I'm trying to see if we have any more info. Nope. All right, let's give a call. Oh, this person says you need to talk to Mary, who is the listing agent for that one. Okay, let's change the number to Mary and the name to Mary. <coughs> Save. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone. Hey, I will double dial. Call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying. Okay, no answer. I'm gonna update our KPIs. We're at 43. MLS listings called, and we will put her in the no response category, and then on to the next. Okay. We will try again. Sometimes that happens. Hello, Greg Clichus. Hey, Greg, can you hear me? 
Who's this? My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you listed on Donzi Drive. Sure. Well, how can I help? I'm interested in it. I'm I'm not an agent. I'm an investor. I uh I don't have your email address. I want to send you over an offer. What's your email? Okay. Well, let me ask you this question first. Sure. Have you have you seen the property? Because we do not do sight unseen offers because sight unseen offers fail to transact about 80% of the time. So if you'd like to schedule an appointment to go see it, I can meet you there and show it to you. You can come to the open house we're having tomorrow. But short of that, there the sellers are pretty tight to their price. Well, I'm more than happy to walk the property before going under contract. Until I know that it's actually realistic, there's no point in me wasting your time or my time uh, going out to the property and walking it. So if they're prepared to accept my offer, I will be happy to walk it and then we can sign afterwards. We could even sign at the property. Well, my email address is greg at golfcoastfishinghomes.com. Greg at golf. Coast. Coast fishing homes dot com. Okay. Cool. And if you want to send me over an offer, mm -hmm. I will talk to them about it and see if they want to pursue it any further. I will I will tell you if it doesn't start in the four hundred, you're wasting your time. Hmm. Okay. Are you getting a bunch of offers in the three hundreds? I have 37 listings. I get at least five junk offers a day from investors, people that are running, just doing all sorts of different stuff. It's just, it's numbing how stupid some of these offers are. So, mm -hmm. I get them on every one of my properties. I get stuff that's a third of value, half of value. You know, it's just stupid and time consuming. And that's why if you don't walk the property first, I don't present it. Okay. That's right. MLS. Okay. I'm the broker. I'm the owner. I get to set the rules. Okay. Well, I, I'll, um, I'll tell you what I can buy it for. And if the seller is ready to pursue that and they want to go under contract, I will happily go walk the property first to confirm everything is as described. Uh, no assignability, no inspection periods, more than seven days. That's the, that's the max. Okay. Not selling the whole thing. Okay. okay. Well, let me run my numbers. Let me get you an offer and then we'll see what the seller says. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, Greg. Now you can fight him on him. You can fight him on it. You can say, here's all the reasons why you should let me assign it. You can say, um, you know, I'm not a wholesaler. You could say whatever you want, but honestly, just shut up and just submit your offer either way. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I will submit my offer with assignability. I really don't give a shit, right? Like I'll submit my offer and then I'll follow up the next day and I'll say, hey, I'm just checking. Did we get an acceptance counter or decline? Like sometimes, you know, saying less is your best bet. It, like it's really shutting up is probably one of the best things you could do for yourself. You don't need to sell them on it. You know, you just need to collect the vital information and then submit your offer and then follow up on your offer. Right. Cause these agents are going to try to put all of these roadblocks in the way and just don't give a shit what the roadblocks are. Just submit your offer either way. Like he's like no assignments, no inspection period longer than seven days. No this, no that. You have to walk the property first. Like, I don't give a shit. If the seller is really ready to go under contract, I'll go walk the property, but only if they're ready to go under contract. I'm not going to go walk it unless if they're accepting my offer. Um, and if they are accepting my offer and it's a good price, no problem. I'm happy to send somebody to go walk the property first, but I need the seller to agree that as soon as I walk that property, we're going to be signing at the price that I gave them. If, if they're not ready to sign at the price that I gave them, I'm not going to go walk that property because otherwise I'm not going through this whole dog and pony show um, where I'm supposed to be like, look at me. These are the reasons why you should accept me. Like, I don't give a shit. I got better. I got better shit to do. So um, and the only people that are going to go through that dog and pony show are people that don't know what they're doing and they're probably going to end up locking them up too high. Like the people that are actually 
you know, ready to act on something like this, they're not going to waste their time with crazy demands like that. <clears throat> okay, on to the next. Hmm. I'm indecisive about calling this one. The fact that they said seller financing available makes me think that they're severely overpriced. I mean, this estimate is 375. They're asking 398, 179 days, only 16 saves. <clears throat> I'm going to skip it. Abandon. Overpriced. Hey, I just want to check something real quick. Um, settings, labs. My burrito is four minutes away. Let's make another call before my burrito arrives. Um, so this one here, oh yeah, it's pretty dated. Okay. No information on the roof for AC. Hello, this is Zach. Hey, Zach. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Ventura Drive. I don't have a listing on Ventura Drive. Really? Um, oh, shit. Maybe I'm calling the wrong person. Yeah, not that I know of. How many beds and baths was it? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I did dial the wrong number. That's my apologies. Gotcha. Yeah, no worries. Have a great day, bro. Thank you. You too. Bye. I totally dialed the wrong number. That's okay. You've reached Brooklyn Bernhardt with Re Okay, we will double dial. 
<laughs> I do love burritos. answer we will put her in the no response category and we will update our kpis cool okay let me go grab my burrito All right, guys, I got bomb burritos. It is lunchtime for me. Verdon says, I bet you can't go a week without saying burrito or bean. Um, yeah, you are correct. Let's zoom out. <clears throat> ah, I just annihilated the bag. to fill out a form while doing this. All right, I'm going to eat my burrito first, and then I am going to fill out that form. Hey bro, so I just got a form um, back and I got to fill it out, but I'll send it to you. That way you can take a look at it. Um, I'm pretty sure I can just fill in the blanks here. Um, but yeah, take a look at it and let me know if there's anything specific that you want on it or if you want me just to use my best judgment. Cool.
you know, life is a lot better with burritos. What? <laughs>
¿Cómo está? Shit, bro. Hello, well. I'm hosting the breathwork call at 6 p.m. Can you do 6.30 p.m.? Thank you, man.
When was two years ago? It was Tuesday, March 22nd, Yeah, copy. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh, Reggie. Good stuff, dude. Yeah, I hope you get that. Dude, that's freaking dope, bro. Okay. All right. Well, guys, you ready to get back to work? Let's do this. Got some burritos in my tummy. Feeling good. Feeling re energized. I think I saw a text message from somebody with the age of the roof, AC, and water heater. Yeah. Michael Grillo. Let me just actually get that real quick. And we'll put that in underwriting. Boom. Okay, cool. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to... Yeah, can you hear me? 
Hello? Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have listed on Eisenhower Drive. Oh, hey, yes. How are you doing? Sorry, I'm in a noisy place. <laughs> no worries. How can I help you? Hey, so I'm interested in it. I'm not an agent. I'm a buyer. And I wanted to confirm the age of the roof and the AC, as well as I wanted to know if there's any major issues I should budget for. Okay, there's no major issues at all, but it does need a new roof and AC, but they are willing to do that, um, like put the money in escrow and have it done for closing. Okay. Like just after closing, because they're both old. And I've actually just had a roofer go today to get a quote, and I'm having an AC guy go too. Okay. Okay. Um, that's all I needed to know. What email address should I send, should I send my offer to? Um, do you want me to text it to you? I'll that text be, you my card. It's got my email. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. My okay. Pleasure. Bye bye. Okay, cool. Bam, we're flying through them. 46, 31. Okay, we have some in underwriting complete. Let's submit some offers. Offer template. Address, purchase price. Hey, Krista, it's just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Hey, Marjean. I'm doing good, and you? Um, sorry, one second, just finishing a text. Okay, um, and then you're asking about Lydia? I was, I was. Um, I'm kind of thrown off here. Let me pull it up again. L Y D. <laughs> oh man, you agents juggle so many things. I don't know how they do it. Oh yes, okay, all right. Yeah, I, I literally just called you um, like half an hour ago. Um, let me pull it up on Zillow just to refresh my brain. Oh, Zillow says it's broken. It says, "Uh oh, something broke." Let me pull it up on Redfin instead. Here we go. Oh, okay. Um, I think I just wanted to confirm the age of the roof, AC, water heater. Um, but I don't want to ask you questions that you already answered. Do you, do you have the age of the roof, AC, and water heater? Um, do you have the age of the roof and the water heater? <laughs> um, let's see here. 
It was built in 2002, so most likely original. Yeah, I think everything you're going through. His peak was like, hard. Like, I mean, you've been in the house, right? Not yet. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, so, like, I'm not going to do it. He was really anal and keeping up with everything. In fact, the AC guy came out and checked his AC. It's still on that plan. Um, very ridiculous about everything. It was all CD. Mm-hmm. So, he kept it on one point, so he just had both skylights areas. They heard that it didn't happen anywhere else. Okay. But that's... Nothing wrong with the house at all. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I'll get to work on an offer for you. What email should I send my offer to? Um, I don't have that email. Mary at what? M A R I. Please, that would be much appreciated. All right, thank you, Mary. Okay. All right. All right, on to the next one. So we're gonna submit an offer. Use my offer template. Bam, there you go. Hey, Andrew. It's Nathan Harris. I just emailed you my offer for property address. Did you receive it. Okay, that's another offer submitted. Okay. okay, so I'm just checking right now. 
um, these abandoned ones if I should tell the agent that like, hey, I'm not going to make an offer or if it doesn't really matter. So unless if I have like a pre-existing relationship with them, I just abandon and don't tell them. But if like there's a bit of a good relationship going on, I'll be like, hey, uh, by the way, I ran my numbers and didn't, didn't look good. I'm going to pass on it. Looks like I'm just abandoning all the ones that aren't coming good from underwriting. Yeah. No need to tell any of these ones that I'm not going to make an offer. Okay, cool. All right, so we are at 14 written MLS offers. We have 21 offers in underwriting right now. It's 209. So we need at least 16 of them to come back successful in order to meet our quota. And I don't want to take that risk. So I'm going to keep calling. You've reached the desk of Mike Meoni at Charles Wettenberg Realty. I'm unavailable to answer your call right at this time. Please leave. Okay, I will double dial. Hello, this is Mike. Hey, Mike. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about Sourwood Boulevard. Yes, sir. Hey, so just a quick question. Before I run my numbers, do you have the age of the roof? The age of roof nation, I, Nathan, I think is about 11 years old. I have a four point inspection attached to the listing that uh, it's got a, it was an extra heavy duty roof with a water barrier put on. Oh, great. And the four point inspector has 12 years left life on it on the report. That's great. I'm, I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see that stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I could send it to you if that would help you. Sure, sure. Uh, and as well, uh, when I send you my offer, what email do I send it to? Do I send it to the home sale at Tampa Bay RR? No, 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 no. Meoni, my last name, Meoni, M-E-O-N-I, team, at Gmail. M-E-O-N-I, team, at Gmail. At Gmail. Dot com. Why did you, com. did you leave that other brokerage? No, I don't know where you got that email from. Oh, huh. I don't know. I don't know where that, I got it from either. Old, that's an old, old, that's an old, old email. Okay. I switched to Gmail a long time ago. Oh, gotcha. Okay, no worries. All right. Well, All right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll send you my offer. I, I I don't think I need that four point. Yeah. Um, until yeah, it, it passed. So everything's everything's good. Electrical, plumbing, 
and the roof. So it's all good. So good just to let you know. Awesome. Well, thank you, Michael. I'll I'll send you a text after right, I fire out my my offer. Okay. No problem, sir. Take care. All right. Very good. Okay, and we will update our KPIs. 47 MLS listings called, 33 agent conversations. has been forwarded to voicemail the person you're trying to reach is not available hey, we will double dial has been forwarded to voicemail the person you're trying to reach is not available at the tone please record your message Did you Google it? Question mark. Okay, double dial. Okay, no answer. Hey bro, so you see this right here? So these are my KPIs for today. 
right? MLS listings called uh, 48, agent conversations 33, agents added to verbal offer zero, for, written offers 14, all that stuff, right? So this is how I can tell if I'm doing good or not um, because I'll be able to use this information to determine if I'm doing something wrong. So if I'm making a shitload of offers and my offers aren't getting accepted, well, maybe there's some problem with my underwriting, right? But with KPIs, you get to know if you're like actually doing the work, right? Because a lot of people think that they're doing the work, but really they're just twiddling their thumbs or they're being very unproductive. Um, And the KPIs are clear, brutal truth of like, did you actually do the work? Because the, at the end of the day, you need to get more offers out, right? If you're not closing the deals, it's because you don't have enough offers out. So how many offers are you doing per day, right? Now, if you're making a shitload of offers and you're not closing deals, then it's probably your underwriting. Your underwriting might be shit. At the end of the day, bro, key performance indicators are like the lifeline of your business. If you don't track your KPIs, like you have no clue if you're doing things correct or incorrectly, and you're really just kind of wasting time and taking shots in the dark. So track your KPIs, bro, because if you want to like figure out what's going wrong, you need KPIs. Okay. Cool. So it's 218. Um, let me refresh. Let me see if we have any fresh um, leads ready for underwriting, or ready for offer submission. No, we don't. I'm going to assign some more leads to me. I'm going to call some more. Owner is unassigned. Refresh. Damn, there's literally no unassigned leads. No way. I took them all. Okay. Okay, I guess I got to add some more leads to the CRM. So we're gonna go lists. Nathan to be added to go high level. Gonna change the way we present our screen share. And do entire window. Boom. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is search. Is it in go high level already? Nope. All right, then we're going to add it.
doesn't have to be complex. Just track exactly how many calls. Everything in a spreadsheet. So I'm just adding a bunch of leads to my CRM right now. That's a 55 plus, we're going to skip it. Okay, there, I just added some properties to the CRM real quick. Okay, now we can keep calling.
Hello, please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Nathan Harris. Hello, this is Callan. Hey, Callan. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on 20th Street. Yep. So I'm kind of interested. Um, one thing that I wanted to ask you right off the bat before I get invested in running my numbers on this is, it, are, are they stuck on that price? You're like, is it worth me taking a shot at? It's pretty pretty high of a price. Yeah, no, they're not, they're not stuck on it. They're not going to do anything like seller financing subject to or anything like that, though. Okay, no problem. I, I wasn't going for that either way. Um, hey, so let's let's confirm some of these big ticket items because we're pretty far off. Um, so when you say newer roof, like how new? I've had agents tell me newer and it's been like seven years old. No. Uh, here, let me pull this out of disclosure. Let me see on that one. Thanks. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> Three, three years. Three years. Okay. Um, how about the HVAC and the electric? What What's the age of those? So they did all of the work around the same time. They also tenanted it in 2020, and then they added a water softener, and then they did electric, HVAC. All of that's been within the last three or four years. Um, so those are all, you know, truly the big ticket stuff. Okay. And when you they didn't electric, do any of the when you say electric, yeah they did a new panel new panel okay gotcha okay cool um all right yeah that's really where are you I, yeah where do you think you know we've gotten a lot of we've gotten a lot of investors just lower than what they'll consider what ballparks do you think you're in just so i can give you a hey it's worth it or no they we've already been there I have to run my numbers. I, I try not to give a number until I've properly analyzed it, but sure. I also like to call the agent and make sure that, you know, they actually pick up the phone and also confirm those big ticket items before I run my numbers. There's too many times that I've, I ran it and then the, I can't even get a hold of the agent. It's just kind of a waste of time. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Okay. What email should I send my offer to? So C Jones at the joneshometeam.com okay c jones at the jonesometeam.com correct perfect sounds good i'll get that off to you perfect. and i'll send you a text right, afterwards you. sounds good thank you alan take care <clears throat> Cool. Now we're going to update our KPIs. It's 49 listings called, uh, 34 conversations. Okay, cool. We got some offers ready to be submitted. So let's get these out. Okay, offer template, address, purchase price.
Okay. Hey. M I C H A E L. Hey, Michael. I just emailed you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Okay, that's another offer submitted. Four, property address. Okay, send it. A and it's Nathan Harris. I just emailed you my offer or property address did you receive it okay that's another offer submitted <clears throat> now we're at 16 offers for the day so far today i should say uh, that one's for abandoned let me check if it's necessary for me to tell the agent um richard says did you make that kpi sheet yeah we did yeah we're gonna we're gonna release it soon i keep telling people that i'm just waiting on we need to create a training video on how to use it so we got we just we're pretty busy right now so we uh we haven't prioritized releasing it Okay, cool. All right, so 14 offers remaining is what we need to get out. We have 19 leads in underwriting. Ooh, look at that. We have another one in underwriting complete. Ah, crap. This one is for abandoned too. Let's see. Any conversation history worthwhile to tell them? Nope. So I'm going to keep calling because I want to make sure that there's more than enough properties in underwriting to be able to get my offers out. I'm going to skip that one because it's pending.
I'm sorry if you feel like it's not always a human speaking with you. Period. I'm sure that would make me feel less important if I was treated that way. Period. Okay, we call this person John. <clears throat> oh crap, that's plus. I don't care for the 55 plus. So I'm gonna say abandon 55 plus. Okay, next one. This one doesn't look too bad. A little bit dated. Oh, the kitchen makes it really dated. And the bathrooms. That's why it's added. Hello? Hey, Greg. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Almonda Drive. Yes, sir. Hey, so I'm interested in it. Um, I wanted to confirm some details like the age of the roof, AC, water heater. Do you have that information? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. What What is the age of the roof? 15 years. Okay. Not and it's bad. tile. Yeah. That's it's concrete tile. Yeah. It's great. Uh, but however, there's a flat roof on the back part of the house that they just literally put on within like 60 days. Okay, good. So you got two parts of the roof. Yeah, the flat roof is new. Okay. Um, how about the AC? Uh, uh, it's probably about four months old, inside and out. Okay. Put it in. Hey, so question for you. Um, sure. It's it's a ridiculously high price. Um, what's the story on that? Like, are they flexible? Is it worth me making an offer? They just lowered the price to seven ninety five. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the MLS. It was literally yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Um, damn, that's. I was talking about the seven ninety five price being a ridiculously high price. Well, not for Bel Air, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's looking like it's not getting much traction. Like it's not many views on Zillow or saves. Do you think that it's worth it for me to make an offer on this, or do you think they're just stuck too high up there? Uh, you know, they'll they'll adjust within reason, but you know, the market market dictates not too far off from seven ninety five. Hmm. They're selling for that around in that Bel Air area, Bel Air Largo quarter. Yeah, but that's like fully renovated. Okay. Well, yeah, they'll they'll look at it, but you know, they'll uh, yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but um, my clients are business people, but they're smart business people. Okay. Yeah, they've been there 25 years. So, yeah, I mean. Okay. They're reasonable people, yeah. 
all right is that is that the best that they would do or they're like like what what are they willing to come down to because i at 795 it's not even worth you know spending the time to run the numbers on it i, I already know that it's a dead deal at that price uh, probably about they would probably be only about ten thousand off that yikes ten thousand isn't really going to make much of a difference yeah okay Okay, I'm going to skip this one. Do you have anything else that would be good? Any kind of original condition properties? Uh, I just, what, I, what I've had is just uh, sold pretty quick. That's the only one I've got right now. Okay. Yeah, I had some, I had some fixer-uppers that didn't last no time. So, no, I don't have anything other than that one at the moment. Do you typically come across these older properties? I try not to. Why? <laughs> Because uh, you get all the bottom feeders. <laughs> you do, don't you? That, that, that cost me. That cost me. Cost me time and paperwork. Yeah. And they don't. They don't go through. They just. They're greedy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like flippers. Oh, ouch! There goes my pride. Yeah. I'm sorry, but they're they're just they're a waste of my time. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, then I better get yeah, off the phone with you. Okay, thank you. No problem. You take care. <laughs> Interesting combo. Um, abandon way too high of that price. Hi, you reached the voicemail for Kelly Hayden with Property Track at Relax. Okay, we will double dial. the voicemail for okay no answer we will put them in the no response category that's really good exclamation mark they do a lot of the basic work for us period almost nobody notices that it's a bot period and if you were to hire a virtual assistant to do it they would do worse than the bots period <clears throat> Okay, we have some properties ready to submit offers on. 
Let's see. Yep, we do. So we have 13 offers remaining to submit. We have 18 in underwriting. Let me check in with Alvin. I want to see if he needs an assist on the underwriting. I think he will. I'm pretty sure he will. Let's check his KPIs. Alvin underwriting KPIs. How many has he underwritten today? Today he's done 24 underwrites. Hey, Kelly. Hey. Um, no, I'm just a buyer. Why? That's me. Okay. Um, I'm calling about the Michaela Court. I'm interested in it. No, I uh, I wanted to confirm some details and then run my numbers. And um, if the sellers are realistic and they're willing to accept a, a realistic offer, then I'll come walk it. Hey, so I, I was wondering, um, the AC, do you have the age of that? Yeah. Sure. Um, is it like something that I would have to replace? What? 
is it something that I would have to replace? Like, is it towards the end of its life or? No, no, I'm looking at this as an investment property. Um, it's not the end of the world. I just want to make sure I touch base before I start running my numbers. Okay. Is there anything, anything of major concern of this property? Any major issues I should budget for? Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, Yeah, of course. Of course. Well, it sounds pretty straightforward. I just like to touch base before I get to work on my numbers. Sometimes I run them and then I can't even get a hold of the agent. So, um, no, I'm unrepresented. What email should I send my offer to? Yes, 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 yes. I'll send you your proof of funds. I have a private money lender that's going to fund the project. When you say, are you looking for an A to B? Like, do you mean like you sell it to me or are you asking like if I want to assign it or what's. I'm going to buy it, fix it and then sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Do you want to, you want to text that to me right now while you're driving or do you want to just tell me yeah. and I'll. Okay. Just be safe. Thanks, Kelly. Take care. Okay, I feel like I should be uh, giving Alvin an assist on the underwriting. So I'm going to start doing that.
Combination construction type frame. Rick. So we can't compare wood frame to brick. That's an unfair comparison. So we want to compare wood frame to wood frame. However, this one right here, this brick sold for 310, but then again, it's 720 square feet. Uh, so I don't want that one. <coughs> Okay, here we go. Oops. Minus. This is a. Uh, let me switch the way my window is streamed. Entire window. Share. So this is a 3-1, so I'm going to take note of that. So 3 slash 1, so minus 20K extra bedroom equals to 94. <clears throat> Okay, extra bedroom minus 10k extra bathroom equals 340. So 341 plus 294. Uh, 
divided by two. VRB of 317. And 20. Okay, how much am I going to spend on Renos? Appliances, baseboards, bathrooms, paint, exterior paint as well. Definitely $40 a square foot. Any big ticket items on this one? So price 154. No momento. Um, Verdon says, do you do 20K for a bedroom on all, or is it really more location-based? Yeah, it's really more location-based. Depending on the area you're in, um, it'll go up or down. Like, I could do as low as 10K for a bedroom um, and as high as 25K. It really depends on, like, how valuable of a location it is. <clears throat> so, like, here in St. Pete, um, where I was doing that property, it's very, very valuable, especially in the zip code. So now we can submit some offers.
Okay, we've submitted 19 offers so far. <clears throat> All right, Reggie. Appreciate you, bro. I'll see you later. Dude, if you don't have a joint venture agreement signed, you don't have equitable interest and it's illegal to market the property. Boom, that's 20. Finish my burrito time because I'm hungry still.
と、Oh. <laughs> 
We have two more offers prepared. Hey, we're at 22 offers for the day, which means we have eight remaining.
Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Good. Uh, what was your offer? Um, let me pull it up here. We're talking about the bleacher property, right? Right. Hey, so for that one, I would need to get this at 296 for it to make sense. <laughs> Damn, we're pretty far off. Yeah, yeah, so it's not going to work anywhere near. Okay. And yeah, I've had much higher. Okay, no worries. No worries. Do you have yeah, anything else that you think would be good? 600 to that too, so anyway. But yeah, I mean, if it could be bought for that, I'll give a guess. Of course. For that, I'll give them more. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So is is that the sellers declined it or? What's that? So, so what did the sellers say when you brought it to them? They weren't. They were happy. Did you bring it to them? Yes. Yeah. I talked about them. Are you kidding me? It's seven hundred. Yeah, the three hundred. It was insulting. They weren't. They were very upset. They were like, "Yeah, wasting your time." Damn. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you handle that? Uh, doesn't bother me. I mean, sure offer. They're, they're honest, you know, I'm just talking to them. That's it. Anyway, I'll let you go. Have a great weekend. All right. Great. No problem. Take care, Kevin. <laughs> Bro, so Kevin got so salty when I submitted that offer. So I just like, when he called, he, bro, like he, he literally straight up called me just to, um, just to like, I, I think you wanted to like, I don't know. I kind of flipped it on him.
we got two more ready to go. Get them out.
Bam. We're at 24 offers now. We've got six more to go, and then we've hit our 30 offer goal. <clears throat> One second. I'll be right back. We are back.
It's kind of too old.
We've got three more ready to submit. We need to get six offers out within the next 40 minutes. Otherwise, we don't meet our quota. So I'm going hard. Offer template. Okay, that's another offer submitted. Okay, that one's for abandon. Remind me in three hours, put Barry's birthday in my calendar. Okay, I added it.
Okay. Four offers remaining. We are so freaking close. We have another offer ready to go out. Let's get this out. Final push. We got four remaining. Okay, three remaining. And we got 84 messages, holy crap. Let's 
Yo, what's up, bro? You're muted. What's up, bro? We're at 27 offers submitted. How many? 27. Nice. Yeah. You just got to do that final push. We just need three more successful underwrites, and then we'll make it. All right. You got something in the underwriting shoot up? Um, we have four remaining. Oh. Bro, I keep starting, dude. I keep starting to underwrite it, and then I'm like, "Fuck, Alvin's doing it." This, bro, he's going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many has he underwrote today? Um, a lot, like a lot. Let me tell you one second. He's underwrote in 34 so far. Let's go. He broke the record now. Yeah, I told him if he gets to 40, I'm going to give him a bonus. <laughs> so he needs, what, six more? Yeah, but there's only four in, in underwriting. Here, give, give me a second. Let me let me call a couple more. That way he can. It's it's fair for him to hit his quota. Yeah. All right, I'm a deafen. Burp. Right, All Hey, Tina. My name is Nathan. I'm looking at this listing that you have on Shirley Place. I just had a couple of questions before I run my numbers. Do you have the age of the roof? 2014. Okay. And the AC? Okay. Are there any major issues with it that I should budget for? Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. No problem. What what email do I send my offer to? Ask Tina Wagner at gmail dot com. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. I'll get to it. Thanks, Tina. Okay. <clears throat> Cool. Tracker KPIs, 52, 2024 reach back 2014 
Okay, let's double bow. Okay, no answer. We're going to put her in the no response category and update our KPIs. Okay, we'll put him in the no response category. We're not going to double dial James because James has a tendency not to answer either way. My name is Nathan. I'm uh, I'm looking at this property that you have listed on Overlook Drive. Is that one currently pending? It's back on market. Okay. Um, hey, so you're pretty thorough in your description. Um, the only thing I need is your email because I'm not an agent, so I don't get to see it. Yep. Okay. Got it. All right. I'll uh, put my numbers together and send you an email with my offer. Thanks, Keith. Take care. <clears throat> cool.
Damn, Alvin's pretty close. Oh my goodness, we're so close. We are so close. I need three more, and I have a meeting at five. Ernesto, what are you working on? I'm working on uh, 47. Okay.
Okay, we will double dial. Okay, we have another offer ready to submit. Offer template, template, property address, purchase price. Offer four. Copy address, send it. Hey, Shoba, I just sent you my offer for copy address. Did you receive it? Hey, Shoba, it's Nathan Harris. Okay, two more. <clears throat> but we only have three minutes. But then again, I can always come and submit them afterwards. So, not the end of the world. Hello? Hey, it's Carolyn Gomez. How are you? Oh, hey, Carolyn. I'm doing good. And you? Good, good. Thank you. Sorry, I couldn't catch a call. Oh, that's okay. Do you want to put in an, an offer? Are you, are you a realtor? No. Or are you a... No, just, just a buyer. Not representation. Just a yeah. buyer. Okay. The All only right. thing I'm missing um, is your email. I just don't know where to send it to. I, you're pretty thorough in the description, in the photos. Email is C. Johnson. So letter C and then J-O-H-N. S-O-N. J-O-H-N. S-O-N. J-O-H-N. S-O-N. And then 1030... Okay. At gmail.com. So that's C Johnson, J O H N S O N 1030 at gmail.com. Great. Awesome. I'll uh, I'll send that to you in just a moment. So, are you an investor or are you, so I just know who, who they were receiving it from? You took in a realtor. You are an investor. <laughs> I'm an investor, yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Is a lowball offer? What's lowball to you? 434. So I would say anything under um, 370 would be considered snowball. It's pretty optimistic. Um, let me run my numbers and I'm going to give you a data driven offer. Okay. All right. I, 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 I have an offer and I feel it's semi traumatic. I'm going to give it about 400. So, um, oh, but it, you know, my seller's not. Do you have that on paper though? Not, like, did that? Oh, yeah. We, and they're still interested. So it's, it's, 
it's not this is not a fire sale this is my my client is somebody i know very well and he's you know they they don't have to sell they are just looking to sell and i will sell it um for a fair price but i'm not gonna i'm not going into threes i can guarantee you that he, he's not gonna do that Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll make you a data-driven offer. I'll, I'll tell you what I can pay for it. And if they don't want to accept okay. it, I won't be emotionally destroyed. No, 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 no problem. Sounds good. Thanks so much. Thanks, Carolyn. Take care. Okay, so wasn't able to What's up? It was, uh, How many are you at, Alvin? Thirty-six. Thirty-six? Yeah. So close, bro. You're so yeah. close. All right. No. Next time. Uh, Next time. We'll we'll do it again. I know you can do it. For sure. All right. See ya. Great work today, Alvin. Thank you, bro. Enjoy enjoy Monday with your daughter. Take care. Alvin's out. <laughs> He's tired. Yeah. All right, dude. I gotta get into a meeting, bro. Um. Hey, so do you good. want? Do you want to? Do you want to finish underwriting those just so that we can like have bragging rights for getting thirty offers out? Yeah. Okay. And then when I get out of the meeting, I'll I'll put them. I'll I'll submit them. I need two more, bro. What time is, what time is your meeting? It's right now. I said, pardon, pardon my lateness. I'm trying to break a record. <laughs> All right, bro. Yeah. I'll, you say you need two more properties to offer on? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, bro. Um, yeah, no problem, bro. All right, guys. Um... We need two more properties to offer on. Let me check the underwriting complete stage. Do we have anything in here? Yes, we have one in the underwriting complete stage. Okay, so we just need one more after this. Scott. 
bro, this guy's email. It's like so weird. Let me try to find him online. Real tour. Have this guy's email. Got his email wrong. There we go. Hey, Scott. Here is my offer. Hey, Scott. It's Nathan Harris. Here's my offer. Fuck it. We're going to have to go verbal offer on that one. Because... I don't have his email. I misheard it or something. Refresh. Right, we got one more.
Bam. Holy crap. 30 offers in a day. Oh my goodness. We did it. We freaking did it. Boom. Okay, I got to go because I have a meeting that I am late for, but I love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you Monday morning. Take care, guys.